Test, test, check, check. All right. Three, two, one, and we're live. Welcome to HeroQuest fans. Getting started just a few minutes late here. Um, this is a big deal. Well, kind of a big deal, I guess. Um, no, it is. It is. I guess. We, um... This is um, the first, uh, well, this is actually the second big stream after we've reached affiliate status here on Twitch. And I want to thank everybody who's followed the channel, everybody who's subscribed on YouTube. Of course, this is live on Twitch, HeroQuest fans. Um, since I'm now affiliate, videos will be going on YouTube 24 hours after they air here. So it's kind of a bummer with that, but um, yeah, there's a lot of new things that have been added added yeah you can hear that music in the background and just so you know that is royalty free i do have permission permission to use it and my father sorry getting a little choked up already um so thankful for everybody that uh, supported us we did a stream yesterday for shadzar um so if people still want to donate to him i'm sure he could use the help his family's in a tight spot uh, financially, so go ahead and go to streamlabs.com slash shadzar slash tip. And if you feel uh, so led, go ahead and give him a donation uh, for free. Free well donation. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> there's all kinds of new features. First thing, you'll notice some fancy schmancy borders there around the uh, cameras here. So we're testing the cameras. That was contributed by L. Viler. L. Viler. I'm going to chant your name. It's going to sound like the Oak Ridge Boys. Just kidding. Not a sponsored video. But no, thank you so much for creating that. It's cool. I didn't uh, imagine anybody would do that for me. But that was really nice of you. I know you said you wouldn't be disappointed if we didn't use them. But hey, I'll at least uh, run them on this stream here. And you can see that I posted a link down at the bottom for the uh, right there for the Discord. So you can actually join us on Discord. You don't have to have the program installed. You could just use your web browser. Go to discord.gg slash and then all that other stuff. Um, and then there's a voice channel called Quest Talk. So instead of just typing, you can actually get your headset out. You can talk on your microphone. And, you know, I understand if people are bashful, they don't want to necessarily put their voice out there. That's okay. We can't all have radio voices, right? But anyway, yeah, you're welcome to join us whenever we stream live. So, yeah, if this is YouTube, it's not live, but on Twitch it is live. We do Saturday nights, uh, live questing. I try to do every Saturday, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. We usually get started a little bit late. But anyway, um, so we in the past we've played with uh, PSK Studios, uh, a.k.a. P.S.K. Knucklehead, Knucklehead, Prince Knucklehead, whatever you want to call him. Cool guy. He plays D&D &D on Twitch. And um, the Strange Bus, or Strange Bus, a uh, personal friend of mine, good guy, has his own Twitch channel and also YouTube. Anyway, I don't think either of those guys are going to make it tonight, but they've totally, they're totally okay if we just take their characters and kind of run with them. So I figure... And this was the suggestion was just, hey, we'll play Hero Quest with the board here. If you want to join us, you don't have to have a Hero Quest set. You don't have to have the companion app or anything. Um, if you just want to follow along, that's cool. I'll keep track of all the stats for you. Uh, it's it's a pretty simple game compared to some out there. You know, if you played Warhammer Quest or anything like that. But um, yeah, if you wanna, you know, if you wanna have your own dice. If you want to roll some uh, D6s, just uh, what I mean, you know, some of these. Um, that's fine for your movement. Because you roll these for movement, just standard six out of dice. And then the Hero Quest dice are special. They've got three skulls on them, two white shields or hero shields, and then a black shield for monsters, for bad guys. But you could simulate that on a die too. But anyway, I'm happy to roll for you. But yeah, this little overlay... It's kind of cool L. Viler uh, created it for us. Now, the only problem is, okay, what, on this side, if I want to show the rest of what's going on, I can just, of course, I can just tilt the camera. So there we go. But anyway, I've added a lot of features. When you reach affiliate on Twitch, you know, just you get 50 uh, followers. 
which grateful for every one of you that followed. And I try to follow everybody I can. I can't keep that up forever, like follow every single person that follows me because then I'll just have like, it'll just be too hard to keep track of. But I at least made a point to follow everybody that followed me for those first 50. So thank you to all of you. Um, I know not everybody makes content. Maybe they just make an account. But still, you know, if you ever decide to start creating content, at least you can have a couple people just out of gratitude. And as far as subscribing, subscribe if you want. I know that uh, we had our first gifted subscription. But I don't want this channel to be like a pay to win kind of thing. So I don't want anybody to feel obligated like you have to send me money because I just do this for fun as a hobby. And yeah, you got to pay taxes on it. So it's like eh, how much, you know, it's a blessing and a curse. But we all start somewhere. Hey, it'd be cool to make a little few extra bucks, pay the bills. So don't feel obligated if you don't want to give anything, but if you just want to lurk, there's a lot of stuff you can do for free. And pretty much I'm just going to make everything really easy. So everybody's going to get uh, what they call channel points or channel currency. And that's free. You start with that. And if you subscribe, you get more. If you do certain other things, you get more. I don't quite know all the ins and outs of it. I'm still learning a lot of that Twitch stuff because I've, like I said, I just became affiliate, so um, didn't start out famous or anything, so I don't have that going for me. But yeah, what what you, you'll you get when you join uh, in the chat is you get gold coins. I thought, hey, it goes with the Hero Quest theme. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying the royalty-free music and it's not drowning me out. But yeah, if you uh, have a problem, you can actually click in the chat, click on the little uh, gold coin, the little uh, purple and gold icon symbol there that you see and it will show you how many gold coins you have and you'll get them just by sitting there in the chat um, you can also contribute go ahead and chat with me whatever you want and i think we're getting an ad right now okay i don't quite understand the ads all right well i guess we'll just uh wait for the ad to finish i suppose okay yeah i'm still getting getting to getting used to all this and really, if it starts to become a pain, we're going to just turn start turning stuff off. Because I liked it better when I could just control everything on the channel. Oh man, they're playing all these ads. Okay, well, if you're seeing a bunch of ads right now, I apologize. That's just kind of how they did it to me, but I can go back and change everything. And so I'll go ahead and repeat once we, uh, once we get going. Okay, we're starting. Can anyone hear me? Looks like we're live. Are we live, though? All right, welcome everyone to HeroQuest fans. Welcome once again. I'm your host here. And this is the second stream since reaching affiliate. I want to thank everybody that followed us, everybody that uh, chatted, contributed in any way. Uh, we had our first gift subscription. Thank you for that. I believe that was Strange Bus. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. And thank you everyone who joined us for the last stream where we were trying to help out Shadzar. Sad story. You know, his family is getting evicted. Um, they're elderly, have health issues. And, you know, it's tough for people to ask for help. Especially if, you know, you think nobody cares or if you think, okay, I'm not popular enough or maybe people don't agree with you. And But at the end of the day, I mean, we're all human beings. We're all mortal. We've all got families and problems. And, you know, if, if some, uh, some people can lend a helping hand here and there, why not? Why not do a good turn? Maybe you won't see anything for it, but it's just the right thing to do. So... We wanted to reach out to him and do that, and he's not obligated. He doesn't have to come back. Uh, I know he does more D&D stuff on his uh, YouTube and Twitch, but I figure we just reach out. So if anybody wants to uh, donate to Shadzar or help him out, go to streamlabs.com. That's streamlabs.com slash Shadzar, S-H-A-D-Z-A-R, slash tip, T-I-P. All right. So, yeah, like I was saying, um, thank you to L. Viler for this uh, cool overlay that you're seeing before you on screen. Um, he made that. I didn't ask for it. 
but it's cool and he said you know you don't have to use it but you can if you want so I like it I'll at least I'll at least uh, give it a try here and um, it's kind of cool dress up the place a little bit and yeah you're hearing some uh, royalty free music playing in the background I got a whole list of credits for it but we just got a playlist going we've got um, let's see it's www chosic.com slash free dash music slash all that's C-H-O-S-I-C so we got tunes from Alexander Nakrata Kevin, uh, Kevin McLeod of course who does a lot of the Creative Commons stuff creativecommons.org let's see I think a lot of it is okay there's some from SoundCloud there's Alex Dash Productions, uh, Salante, S L A with the accent over it, I N T E, Alexander Necrata. Yeah, if, if it if it gets annoying, we can turn it off. But I just thought just throw in some cool uh, medieval style music, but all royalty free or Creative Commons. You got Daniel Curtis, he did one. And then any others, of course, would be www.chosic.com slash free-music. So yeah, I'll put all that in the text at the end. But anyway, thanks to those people for putting out their music for free. That's pretty cool. All right. So yeah, we've got a hero quest game here, but the problem is we need some heroes. We've got sp spots for three heroes. We've got a barbarian. We've got, yeah, there's our... Uh, So we've got our Barbarian here. And yes, I'm using the remake set right now. So we've got our Barbarian. We've got a couple of Guardian Knights. So, got one of them. Lamdar. And we've got another Guardian Knight here. And I'm not doing this to brag. I know these were hard to find. And Avalon Hill apologized for not having an adequate supply of them. But you could substitute any figure you want, really. So this adventure here, this is, once again, this is the Xanon Pass. This is uh, Barbarian Quest Solo Quest number one. We tried it three times with just one hero, and it was just too blasted difficult. So we went ahead and just threw in two more heroes. But really, we can substitute anybody. Anybody can jump in there week after week. And we can go ahead and name your character. Just pick up where we left off. But yeah, there's cool ideas. You can go into the chat and you can use emotes and badges. But I've sort of customized them so you can interact. So you get the free gold. Oh yeah, I got way off track. So we've got gold coins now instead of channel points. If you just go into the Twitch chat, because we're live on Twitch, not live on YouTube, sorry. Um, click on the uh, little treasure symbol. It has like purple and gold. It's a bunch of gold coins. You click on it, you'll have some gold coins. You can use your gold coins... It's not real money. You can use it to do different things in the chat. So you can use one gold coin, for example, to choose option one through six. That's if we're doing like a choose your own adventure or I give you an option. You can vote for the option that you want. Of course, the GM has the final say. That's me. But, I mean, you guys can influence my decision. So I'm not going to do the thing where, you know, you're a jukebox, a dancing monkey, you just uh, people pay money and you do stuff. No. But I do want to do some interactive uh, interactivity with my audience so please feel free to use that feature and I'll try to watch the chat so I don't miss stuff I'm also adding other things too so you can uh, of course buy the usual emotes with your gold that you build up just by lurking or by chatting if you subscribe you get more but you don't have to if you don't want to only if you enjoy the channel and you want to support us um, but you can also suggest actions so like in Hero Quest, every room that you enter, every hero can search that room once for treasure. So you can vote for whoops, you can vote for searching for treasure. And I'm also saying you can search for secret doors, you can search for traps. So you can actually use one gold coin to vote for any of those actions. Now, if it can't be done, of course, we're not going to break the rules so that you do it, but it can just be a way that you can interact. Another thing is if there's a problem with the stream, you can vote for the error error symbol. So I'll just show you a couple examples here. So let's say we did search for secret doors. Boom, there it was. 
uh, search for secret doors. So that would be a vote for that. Now that was just a test. We're not actually doing that yet. Um, and then if you were, let's see, if there's a problem with the stream, you could do error, error. This is only a test. Okay, did, that one didn't work. All right, let me try that again. Okay, so you click on the gold coins, then you it says rewards and challenges, hero quest fans, rewards and challenges. So I click on error, error, and then I have to type something. So we'll say testing, and then we hit enter. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure why it didn't appear. Okay, well, anyway, uh, maybe I'll have to do a little bit more work on that one. Oh, I think there's a cooldown. That's the other thing. But yeah, let's uh, let's try another one. Let's try let the GM decide. Okay, yeah, I voted for let the GM decide. So yeah, if there's a, a point in the game where we need to make a choice... You can vote on your choice. Now, as the as the channel owner, I have infinite gold, so it's kind of silly if I do it. But if we need an executive decision, I can go ahead and just do that. But I want to give you guys the opportunity to do more stuff. So now, if you can't see these options, I want you to let me know, please, so that we can uh, have a more interactive experience and make it better for everybody. So search for traps. There's one. These are just examples. No, yeah, there's no fancy animation for them. It's just uh, a little generic treasure icon. Yeah, I was trying to get it to do something besides just the generic treasure icon. I'll need to work on this a little bit more. But yeah, you get the idea. And you can highlight your message, you can suggest a poll, you can do a name generator, so you can name a character in the quest. It's kind of goofy, but it could be just like a monster or um, maybe a prisoner that you rescue. You can modify emotes, so, you know, I put sunglasses on the orc. It's kind of silly. Now, I did put in a couple other things, so you can get a bonus potion for a hero for 500 gold coins. Again, this is just the channel point, so it's free. It's not, you're not paying a cent for this. Except for your internet connection, I guess. So for 500 gold, you could give a potion to one of these guys. So just draw a random card. Give him something. Maybe help him out in the quest. But you could also use 500 gold to buy a monster for Zargon. So <laughs> you can help out the bad guys, too. And yeah, if people abuse it, I mean, we're not going to go overboard. I think, again, I think there's a cooldown for it. So you can't just use it over and over and over again and just break the quest and of course I'm at that point I'm just gonna step in and say no we're not gonna do that but just you know a little little something extra to give you some interactivity is the idea so again it's not perfect I'm gonna work on it refine it we'll see how it goes because yeah I mean I can play this quest by myself easily enough and you guys could just watch and listen but I want to make it a little more interesting so I want to say welcome to everybody who's here so far Let me just double check here. Okay, so we've got, of course, El Viler. Once again, thank you for the overlays, for the overlay graphics that you see before you. Uh, another TV viewer, longtime viewer, uh, Gassan PL, welcome, of course, welcome back. Uh, L.A. Kaylee, or La Kaylee, welcome back. Uh, Rogue Girl, welcome back. Rock, Roxy? Roxy. I don't remember Roxy, but welcome. Thank you for joining us. Six Flags Magic Mountain, welcome once again, welcome back. Triangle Gathering, oh, that sounds familiar. Well, anyway, um, if you're returning, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate any follows. Um, but I understand a lot of people like to lurk. And it looks like we got a little bit of a delay here on the stream. That's okay, we'll do our best. So, yeah, I've added a couple of different things. So, yeah, we've got other overlays that were created by L. Viler. Thank you for those. 
So a couple different ones. Uh, the one that I picked was this one here because it, it just kind of happens to coincide with uh, the two cameras that I'm using. So we've got our uh, dice rolling box over here on the right so that you can see me rolling the dice, whether it's the Hero Quest Combat dice, the D6, the standard movement dice, or I just use these uh, black and red ones for the Zargon dice, so the bad guy rolls. We've got our dice rolling cup over here handmade and on the left side of course we've got the game board game space and yes this is a reprint uh, board that I got from a board games maker I just blew up the image of the classic board to have one inch squares because as you can see down here see there's the hero quest logo so this is not the remake board and I like it because it's a matte finish so it doesn't uh, doesn't glare back with the light so much and yeah, I've tried the uh, soft lighting and everything, but it's just, this works for me. This is my setup. But anyway, you may be wondering, what is this quest that I'm seeing before me? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because what we've got here is, this is the Xanon Pass, like I was saying before, the, um, the first quest of the Frozen Horror, the Barbarian Quest Pack. And this is the quest that Hasbro is going to be remaking next. It's supposed to come out sometime this year. Don't know exactly when. Well, it may be around September. I don't think Avalon Hill has confirmed it officially yet. But um, the very first quest of the Barbarian Quest Pack, and I've said before, these quests are super hard. They will just punish brand new players. Absolutely. So the best way to play them right now, without any fixes, is to either throw in extra heroes, like we did here, or throw in lots of extra potions, or just start with like veteran heroes who have lots of gear already. Like, this is, they're not their first quest. So we'll see how they actually handle that. But my goal is to actually take people through the whole quest. So what happened was everybody started at this uh, iron door here on the edge of the board. They made their way. They explored down in this area. Found the alchemist bench here. Went into this room. Had fought some battles. Went here and here. Discovered lots of monsters. They got the treasure out of this treasure chest here. And yes, these are 3D prints that I painted. And then they discovered some slippery ice here. These these tiles can get annoying. And I think the volume is a little high for this music. So I'm gonna just turn it down a little bit because I don't want to yell the whole time. All right. Yeah, so then we, uh, we made it through the uh, slippery ice area. And yes, there is a bit of a delay. Sorry for that. Let's see, another thing we added is the countdown timer. And where is it? Ah, uh, I forgot to put it on top. There it is. So that's our countdown timer. So whenever we need a timer, we're just gonna throw that up on the screen on the lower right hand. So like, let's say we're doing the Choose Your Own Adventure books, um, the Dave Morris Hero Quest novels, which I had a lot of fun with. Give everybody like 30 seconds to a minute to make a choice. So anyway, I got that online free. So thanks to the person that created that. Sorry, I forget your name. Yeah, what else? Okay, so the heroes uh, went down here. They explored the slippery ice. They found um, a crossbowman, an evil crossbowman, and got his crossbow. And then they made their way down into this hallway as we fixed the camera. And you notice these stone blocks blocking off the path. That's how it goes sometimes. So you go and then you go down here to the southern region. So we use the north, south, east, west terminology, cardinal directions. So they went down this way. And you can see they went through this corridor here. I'll just move the dice box temporarily. So they went down this way and there was an ice gremlin that stole some a potion of healing from the barbarian. So he was in a bad way. Went up that way and then discovered this room here, which is where the barbarian is now. So uh, it's the gold room with the vertical grooves. And the other knight, the guardian knight is here as well. 
And this Guardian Knight actually discovered a secret door, but has not yet opened the room, the red room, there. And there's also another room. See, these are closed doors. So you got to tell Zargon to open the door, and then we move in. So there's a room here in green. There's a room here in red that hasn't been explored yet. Um, now, this was Strange Bus's character. He was controlling the Barbarian. And Blue Star was controlling uh, this knight. This other Guardian Knight that you see on the other end of the board, in the north here in this blue, that was uh, PSK Knucklehead, or PSK Studio. He uh, fought and won against a Yeti, which we were pretty impressed with. And of course, his strategy is get the treasure and fight. But if you take over one of these heroes, I mean, it's up to you how you want to play them. Now, I'm assuming nobody's going to be suicidal with their character. So, I mean, I might try to help you out a little bit. But since I am controlling Zargon, I mean... The monsters are out to destroy you. But the thing is, these quests are so hard that even if Zargon like kind of pulls his punches a little bit, you're still going to have a tough time. Because it's automatically hard by default. So back in 92, I mean, they were, they were out for blood. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if that contributed to the fact that it then ended the franchise for a while until 2021 when Hasbro brought it back. But who can say? Okay, so I've not been watching the chat. Let me head back to it. So we're looking at the Discord, not seeing anything too crazy happening. Elviler says, no problem. Happy to contribute. Let me know if there are any other layouts that you think you might need. I'll see what I can do. Hey, if you're taking requests, Elviler, and thank you again, by the way, uh, maybe a Space Crusade one, like a futuristic one. I mean, I could do one myself, but, you know... Since it, since it since it does look really cool, if you wanted to do one, I mean, hey, we'd, we'd be happy to try it out. But yeah. Okay, so these new emotes, I was kind of hoping that we could have a little bit more variety with them. But maybe it just automatically shows the gold no matter what I do. So I'm going to try to do the error, error one. See, it doesn't show up. Unless it's going to the private. Maybe that's what's happening. But yeah, I was going to sit here on the stream and just uh, modify these things. You know, just sit and work on them. But you want to be entertained. You want to see something more interesting than that. Of course, maybe I have to make an actual graphic or it'll just be invisible. Not quite sure. Oh, there's a queue. Maybe that's the problem. So if I look at the request queue. Okay, so I have to look at the request queue. See, that's going to get annoying. I want people to just be able to do it right away. So we'll just say we'll reject that one. It's complete, reject, reject, it's complete, it's complete. Okay, so let's check the chat and see what happened there. Nope, nothing. Huh. Okay, well, I'll have to do some more testing with that. But yeah, the idea would be is you click in the chat, you use one of your gold coins, and you can vote and say, okay, I want to search for traps, search for treasure, search for secret doors, error, error, saying there's something wrong with the stream, um, vote for multiple options, that sort of thing. And if you just want to listen or if you just want to type it out, type out your response, that's cool too. But yeah, Shadzar helped me out a lot and I just, I haven't talked to him lately um, except for that little bit on YouTube. So... Yeah, if anybody else knows a lot, I know Strange Bus, he does a lot of stuff with his, you know, emotes and badges and all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, I can just look it up online how to do it. Yeah, he's close to reaching affiliate as well, so go support him. Well, anyway, I've rambled on enough. Let me go ahead and get this quest started. So we're just, this is a quest in progress. 
Now the only thing is I'm either going to have to pretend that I can't see the quest book and don't know what's really going to happen, or I'm going to have to get your input. So this is the Barbarian Quest Pack, The Frozen Horror, the original version from 1992, but we're using remake assets here. And so we do have um, some rooms to explore. And let me read the storyline. So I'm going to go ahead and just start out. And I'm going to reread this just for everybody's knowledge. Okay. A message from Mentor. Welcome, mighty barbarian, to the land of your youth. It seems only yesterday that the tribal elders gave you leave to explore the many wonders of the warm lands to the south. You return now as a renowned warrior, tall and strong, well-versed in the skills of battle. Happy though your homecoming is, bitter tidings are on the minds of the tribal elders. They wearily tell you why you have been summoned back to aid your people in their time of need. An ancient evil, long thought banished, has arisen to threaten the Northlands once more. The frozen horror has burst forth from the icy tomb where it has rested these last centuries, recovering its strength and awaiting Zargon's signal. At last, its master has called it, and the frozen horror has returned to its ancient seat of power deep within Ice Mountain. It has regained the scepter of glacial majesty, an evil artifact of vast power. As we speak, the frozen horror is reviving its minions and enacting its plans to cover the Northlands and the Empire in a shroud of deadly ice. Your people seek a champion to oppose the evil of the frozen horror. You have been called in hopes that you might prove to be that champion. To determine your worthiness, the elders have set before you three dangerous tasks. These must be undertaken by you alone. If you survive this test, lead your companions into the depths of Ice Mountain. There you must find and destroy the scepter of glacial majesty before it achieves its full power. Only when the scepter is no more can you confront the frozen horror and destroy it forever. You must call upon all your courage and skill, barbarian. The greatest perils you have ever faced await with an ice mountain. Great, too, is the treasure that will be yours if you succeed. Among the many riches to be found is the Amulet of the North, an ancient artifact that is said to grant its wearer marvelous powers. Good luck, mighty warrior. The fates of many depend on you. All right, so that is message from Mentor. Now we're going to amend that and say that actually three brave barbarians before you set forth on the quest, but they were killed. And the families of those barbarians have put out uh, bounties on the monsters that took their lives. So those can be collected. So two guardian knights set forth with the new barbarian. And then we've got quest one. I'll read from it. The Xanon Pass. Good luck, barbarian. On this, your first of three trials. Servants of the Frozen Horror have overrun that fortress that guards Xanon Pass. This is the only pass over the Siberian Range, which you must cross to reach Ice Mountain. An iron door is your entry into the fortress. That's over there. You must find the wooden exit door that leads out to the far side of the pass. All right, and then before we actually begin the quest proper, I just need to grab the character sheets from last time because we're not starting completely from scratch. Like I said, there's been treasure acquired, wounds taken, monsters killed, but there's still plenty of questing to do. So I'll be right back. You can enjoy this royalty-free music.
All right, we are back. Hope everyone can hear me. Can you all hear me? I found the character sheets. So yeah, it, um, it's been a while. But uh, yeah, I just, I prefer to just print them out like that. So we've got a barbarian and he has a broadsword, so he attacks with three combat dice, three attack dice, standard th uh, two defense dice, eight body points, and two mind points. And he lost his healing potion, so he has no more potions. But he has acquired uh, 200 gold coins, and he has one ability left with skill. And yes, we're using the Ron Shirts um, combat cards from Ye Old Inn, Hero Quest by Phoenix. So he's got Mighty Blow, that's a skill. He can be used anytime. And then we've got two Guardian Knights. So the Guardian Knights, of course, um, use these special cards, but the Guardian Knight has two attack dice, three defend dice. Starts with seven body and two mind. And if they ever get plate armor, it doesn't uh, restrict movement. So they get full movement for that. Have a short sword and a shield. So that's why there's the three defense. Now, each of the Guardian Knights also has three skill abilities. So there's Knight's Challenge, which can be used to divert a uh, wandering monster discovered when searching for treasure to the Knight. So it's like instead of attacking them, they're attacking me. And then there's also, and these are all single use skills. Okay. You've got Stalwart, which as long as you have a shield, you can use this. Uh, when your body points are reduced to zero, because you can never go below zero, but zero at zero you're dead. So you use it, and it means you only have one left instead of zero. So it's like to save yourself from dying. And you've got shield block. Shield block can be used when you're next to another hero to take the hit that was intended for that hero and just reduce it to zero. So you save them, make a save. Oh yeah, and the nice challenge one, uh, that only works if you're in the same room. I'm going to say in the same corridor as well, because on these um, Barbarian Quest Pack quests, you also have Wandering Monster Traps, that no matter how hard you search, you can't find them. You just land on a square in a corridor, and all of a sudden a monster is on you. We've already discovered from this quest that the Wandering Monster in this quest is two skeletons. Not just one, but two. Attack you at once. So yeah, so the first Guardian Knight, this was Knucklehead's character, is up here in the north. And he has Heroic Brew. Unfortunately, his body points have been re reduced down to two. Now he hasn't used any of his skills yet. But uh, yeah, he's got that. And he uh, has acquired 260 gold coins. Now if a hero dies and there's nobody around to uh grab his gear it's gonna be lost to monsters so it'd be a real shame if he were to pass away now his luck is held out with his good dice rolls a quick uh, primer on how that works so when you attack someone you roll the white combat dice okay so for every skull that you roll that's a hit anything else doesn't count now when you're defending whether the monster is attacking you or monster is defending from your attack the uh, the person who's defending rolls white combat dice as well. Heroes defend with these white shields, these lion shields. So that would block one skull. Now if you're a monster, you only have a 1 in 6 chance to get one of these black shields, these monster shields, or the uh, bunny of immortal evil, as uh, people like to jokingly refer to it. But yeah, a monster has to roll a black shield to negate each skull. And if they don't negate enough, they, they lose body points. For every excess skull and if you're if a monster is reduced to zero it's dead it's removed from the board now if a hero is reduced to zero he has a chance to save himself if he has an unused healing spell or healing potion it automatically kicks in assuming he hasn't used the action already on his turn now potions don't require actions only spells actually nobody has any 
spells. So these skill cards, I'm treating them as this is not an action. You can just use it. You just follow the instructions on the card. Just like just like these. So yeah. So the goal in this quest is to find the door to get out. I'll show you what the door looks like. It looks like this. Is that the remake door? In the original, these would have been cardboard. But yeah, anyway. So, so far, there's a few more rooms to explore, and we can get going. But first, I'm going to check and see if there's anybody who wants to take over for these heroes. Now, once again, I'm going to say the two knights, actually both of them have taken a lot of damage. But uh, Knucklehead's knight, which is over here in the north, he just has a standard short sword and shield. And then Blue Star over here with the Barbarian, about to open the secret door. Uh, that knight has a crossbow, so he can attack at range with three. But when he attacks close range, adjacently, it's only two. But he's down to two body points, just like he's down to two body points. So two and two, but the Barbarian has his full eight because he used his Potion of Healing... Well, it was a potion of healing from another hero because his own was stolen by a Ice Gremlin. Because you can pass potions to each other as long as you're adjacent. Alright, so after all that explanation, let me just check and see if anybody in the chat is interested in playing with us tonight. Okay, so... Starting... Hero quest now. Does anyone want to play with us as a hero tonight? Once again, I understand if you know you're doing dishes, painting a miniature, just have it on the background. You're doing something else. Uh, don't really have time to interact, or you know, you're driving in your car, listening to us on your phone or something. Uh, not tonight, but watching. Okay, thanks, PSK. Yeah, check this guy out. He's uh, He does a lot of cool stuff on his um, channel. He plays D&D. He paints minis. <laughs> yeah, we're going to kill have kill off your character if you don't show up. No, no, I'm just kidding. That's not how it goes. But man, you should have seen the stuff that your guy was doing when you weren't here. So you went in and you challenged the Yeti. And yes, we did modify the rule. Normally, the, the Yeti does some damage to you, grabs you, and there's that's it. You're basically dead. We went back to the original drafts. Uh, what the designers were talking about. They had you roll two dice. And if you got one white shield, you avoid damage. If you take two white shields, you break the hold. And we decided we were going to roll three. And if you get three white shields, we'll let you do like a pro wrestling move and <laughs> damage the monster. Well, unfortunately, you didn't get the uh, you didn't get the Stone Cold Stunner or the RKO or uh, People's Elbow or the Leg Drop or anything. But you did uh, you did break the hold. And you did kill him. So you survived. But yeah, you've got one ability that'll bring you back from death once. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, if you're listening on a phone, I think uh, Leerlek has done that. And it's the latency isn't very... Or the audio quality isn't very good. So I understand if you can't participate. But just keep in mind, we do these every weekend. You're welcome to join us. And there is one other thing I need to do before we get started here. I need to grab some throat lozenges because it's really dry in here. Don't get so lost in talking, you forget to check your chat. Hey, thanks for the tip. No, I, I agree. I agree. I I've definitely can do that, and I'm trying to do better. But, no, I appreciate your feedback. Everybody who's given feedback on this, I mean, this channel has grown so much from where I thought it would be and I appreciate all the advice that everybody has good or bad you know it's always constructive to me because I know some of you guys have been doing this for years and I'm just kind of getting started but it's all good oh yeah yeah I don't I don't want to ignore anybody <laughs> yeah so PSK is going to get me hooked up with um, one of these automated games so we can actually do like direct stuff. I'd be happy to try that. I would love to try that. 
As much as I like to show off my own set, I know not everybody has it. Or not everybody can see it well enough. Or maybe they don't want to talk, but they'll click on stuff. So yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, PSK, the thing is, if you review the tape, I know it's long, over on YouTube, uh, video on demand, you can see what happened exactly. But I, I was impressed. <laughs> you had a lot of lucky rolls, so even when you're not here, uh, you'll have luck somehow. <laughs> so it's fun, fun stuff, fun times. But yeah, let me just grab my uh, throat lozenges. I'll be right back. I talked a lot yesterday too, so it happens. This is why we need to have guests so that we can do the give and take. But I know not every not everybody can get together at the same time. Yeah, man. Hey, you know if we didn't have uh, lucky people like you out there keeping us safe and keeping us keeping us honest. You know, it would be a it would be a tougher time for sure. All right, so I'll let everybody get settled in, and I'll be right back. And I think we'll just start doing some questing. All right, we are back on HeroQuest fans. Welcome, everybody. So when we last left our heroes, they were traveling through the Xanon Pass, trying to survive all of Zargon's traps. And Hawkat says, sorry, family movie night about to start. Hey, that's awesome. What movie? HeroQuest, the movie. It doesn't exist. <laughs> I did see Warcraft, the movie. Um, that was better than I thought, but it was still pretty goofy. And that one, of course, they try to explain like why the orcs are green and uh, why some of them are not necessarily evil and all this stuff. Warcraft, I mean, I remember the first game on the PC, and I remember the second game. And the third game I got as a gift, and I played it like hardcore when I first got it, and then I didn't play it for years and years and years. I'd like to go back to it, but I hear they did a like a remake patch that they force you to download. I'm like, ah, I just I kind of want to play it with the original graphics, so I'll have to kind of figure out how that goes. Do I have to unplug my internet to pre prevent it from updating? But uh, yeah, no harm, no foul. <laughs> Whoops, I meant to say have fun, but I typed have. Never mind. Okay, yeah, have fun. So I don't see any news from the world of HeroQuest. I don't think anything's going to distract us. But yeah, a lot of thank yous. A lot of congratulations for reaching affiliates. So yeah, again, without you guys helping me out, without people giving the feedback, uh, joining us week after week, joining us on Discord, um, sending positive you know, feedback and vibes and all that cool stuff, clicking on things, supporting us, uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't be where we're at today so all you people out there you know who you are thanks for supporting us as we went from zero to where we are now and hopefully in the future we can continue to have a good time all right so I'm gonna be flipping through and yeah if there's something in the chat I'm missing please let me know okay so I think we're gonna say it is the barbarians turn so I'm just going to, unless somebody wants to use some of their gold coins to name these characters, we're just going to stick with what we have right now. So we're going to go with the Barbarian first. Okay. So Barbarian is going to roll for movement. It's 
get our I think we're zoomed in here sorry I was telling strange bus we need to put together gag reel year-end gag reel for videos get all the the best clips put them together and just kind of laugh at ourselves All right, five for the Barbarian. So let me see if this room has been searched for everything yet. It's been searched for secret doors, obviously. I don't think it's been searched for anything else. So he's got eight body points. I could search for treasure. I think uh, I have a feeling we're going to need whatever we can get. Now, a fight is a fight. So let's go ahead and draw a treasure card. Since that's what PSK would do, even though he wasn't the Barbarian. Wandering Monster. Well, great. <laughs> okay, so there's a Wandering Monster for you. So it's two skeletons. Actually, I feel like we did this already. I, I remember two skeletons being distinctly right here. You know what, just for the sake of fun... I'm gonna say Zargon gets it, because I can I can do what I want. All right, so there's two skeletons. Each of them are gonna attack. And since we're dealing with uh, Hero Quest skeletons, let me just show you the card. So this is kind of a low-level undead monster. So six movement, two attack, two defense, one body point, and zero mind points because he's undead. So the first skeleton attacks with two. So this is what happens when you don't show up. You know, your your heroes get killed. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. No, because this is this will be me losing if I lose. And actually, I'm thinking if I if I screw this up and it's a total party kill, I'm just gonna reset it from here, <laughs> and you guys can pick up where we left off because I'll leave you a chance to see uh, succeed where I failed. Okay, so the first monster total whiff. Second monster attacks the brave barbarian, and that's right here. So we got the uh, two skeletons flanking the barbarian in the doorway. All right, that was one skull against the barbarian. Now he defends with his normal two. And he got one white shield, so he easily deflected it. Okay. Now, his turn is not over. He still has movement left. Uh, but he can't do a whole lot. So uh, he's going to move... Yeah, that's what he's going to do. He's going to move up here. Let's see. Because there could be traps in the room, right? So I'm going to say he's jumping that square. Because you can blind jump. This was, a, this was a fix that was suggested from the draft notes. But it was not implemented in the final game. So he's going to jump that square... And he's going to jump that square. So the, both of those. Let's zoom in. <laughs> Alright. Ah, so Hawkeye is doing Fly Away Home, possibly. Well, cool. Enjoy the movie, my friend. And maybe you can play with us another time. Alright. So as we're enjoying that royalty free music, okay, so he's gonna try to jump those two squares. So the first every for every square that you jump, you gotta roll a combat die. If it's a skull, you land on the square and you take the consequences. So we're rolling for the first one here. It was a skull. Okay, so is that square a trap or not? It's not. Okay, so He's safe so far. So he moves forward. Now we're going to roll for the second one. Another skull. Okay, so he lands on the square, takes the consequences. And it was a stalactite trap. Boom. Unfortunately, there's no way to avoid it. The stalactite falls on his head. Ugh. And he loses one body point. So now he's down to seven. That's what happens. So 
Let's mark that on the character sheet, down to seven. All right, and that ends that ends the barbarian's turn. Okay, now we've got uh, the guardian knight, which of course was PSK's character, still is once he comes back, once he has time. Uh, so he wiped out the yeti. He could search for treasure, and if I know him, that's how he rolls: treasure and fight. Now. Since he's not controlling the character, we play how we want. But I think in the spirit of PSK, we're going to go ahead and do that. And search for treasure. So let's see what we get. Gem. Man, luckiest guy ever. Now, <laughs> I didn't reshuffle these. So this is still the deck that we've been playing with since uh, last time. Tucked into the toe of an old boot, you find a small gem worth 35 gold coins. Record the money on your character sheet. So, got some treasure he of the of the three heroes that are playing this quest he has the most treasure so far so we'll go plus 35 so he's up to 295 if he can make it out of here alive with that loot he can buy himself some armor buy some weapons something you can also sell your stuff back for uh, half price to the armory if you need a few extra gold and you're willing to part with what you got okay and now he's got movement left Let's just unzoom there. Okay, so rolling for the Guardian Knight. Seven. Whoops. Okay, yeah, we got seven. All right. So let's see. Um, should he go north? And explore this room, this red room, or should he head towards this gray room, like go the other way? Because he knows this is a safe path so far, because he's wiped out all the monsters. So I guess here uh, we're gonna say uh, option one, explore the red room. Option two, head back to the gray room. Because either way, there's a room in between. Does it lead to something? We don't know because it hasn't been revealed yet. So I'm going to say, uh, let's reach out to the chat. Vote now. Red room, option one, or gray room, option two. Use your gold coin to vote in Twitch chat yeah and we did we did we do know that this feature works because when we were doing the choose your own adventure we had uh, people voting for stuff so you'll see in there you'll see option one two three four five six obviously we only have two options here so option one red room option two gray room And I'll give you guys a few minutes to decide, so we'll throw our timer up there. See how much of a delay there is. Oh wow, I think there's quite a delay. Yeah. Okay, because of the delay, everybody, I'm just going to stop the stream right here. And I'm going to restart it real quick. Sorry to have to do that. Be right back. All right, three, two, one, and we're live once again. HeroQuest fans, thank you everybody for joining us. And we had to restart the stream just because of some problems there. And it looks like the stream is getting caught up. Ah, Elviler voted for option one to go into the red room. Once again, we're playing the Xanon Pass Quest 1 with three heroes, the Barbarian and two knights. Now remember, this knight is only down to two body points. And he has no healing abilities. Er, scratch that. He has one healing ability. He has the ability to use... He has, of course, his Heroic Brew. That lets him attack twice. That wouldn't save him from death. But his Stalwart would, require, would allow him to bring back one body point. Okay. So, anybody else have a vote? Option one is the red room. 
Option two is the gray room. Now, Viler, I know he posted it twice. That's one vote. <laughs> one vote for the red room. Anybody else? I'm going to give you another minute. Uh, looks like the stream might be frozen. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll let the stream catch up. That's annoying. Sorry, everybody. Looks like it's uh, getting caught up here. Yeah, we have technical issues sometimes. Okay, there's a few things I can do to try to speed things up. Yeah. This is why you need to donate so I can get a new computer. Just kidding. Okay. Wow, that was a long, long pause there. All right, see if it's stabilizing yet. I wonder if our music is slowing everything down. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like I'm just watching the timer here. 40, it looks like 45 seconds, 20 seconds. Yeah, it looks like it's about 30 seconds behind. Okay, that's that's a little more tolerable. So it's catching up. Things are working okay. All right. Okay, so uh, we have an L. Viler work, uh, voting for the Red Room. Nobody else voted, so I think we're just going to go with that. We're just going to say the red room is it. So he got seven. And let me just consult the quest map here. One, two, three. Made it to the door. Now, as far as things go, I mean, if he's going to open that door and there's a monster, well, he's already used his action to get the treasure. So I'm going to do the nice thing and say... You can uh, wait till your next turn to actually go go forward. All right. So after uh, after that night, the next night gets to gets to move. We'll just focus the camera over here. It's pretty cool music. There. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll for the night. Boxcars. So you got 12. Let's let the stream catch up. Anybody in Discord has something to say? Good choice, waiting for action. Yep, precisely. Okay, yeah, the uh, the stream is like two minutes behind. That's bugging me tonight. Let's try killing the music. Maybe the music is slowing everything down. I'm sorry. It was so nice, too. All right. And let's stop and restart here. Just because you're affiliate doesn't mean you can't have technical issues. Be right back. Three, two, one, and are we live? I think we are. Okay, welcome once again to HeroQuest fans. I'm so sorry about all that, everybody. We had a bunch of technical issues, and it reminds me of my work. Like, once something starts going wrong, there's not much you can do but roll with it and keep going. But yeah, thank you for everyone who supported us, who got us to this stage. Now we've reached affiliate. Um, we have all kinds of bad luck, but let's roll with it. 
and try to stay positive. So we're playing the Xanon Pass. Once again, we've got three heroes. And our usual crew couldn't make it today, so I opened it up. Anybody wants to play, but it looks like a lot of people are busy. So that's okay. We pick it up again where we left off as best we can. So I'm just going to take a look at the Twitch chat, see how we're doing. Hope everybody can hear me and see the cameras. Yeah, I ended up rebooting my internet and my computer, my uh, antique computer. It's not really an antique, but <laughs> it's uh, let's say it's not uh, not that new. So, but it served us faithfully. I mean, it took us nine months to go from zero to where we're at today to affiliate status on Twitch. So let me just load up the chat here. It says we're live. It says our internet connection is excellent. And I say excellent to that. And uh, do my Montalto, who a uh, cool guy. I was talking with him. He uh, has played the, the game in Italian. He also plays it in English, but we were helping him out just uh, translating. And I don't know any Italian, but I was using the online translator to update the character sheet for him. Because I was looking at Yield In, and I'm like, I'm sure they've got Italian, but they don't for a lot of things. Uh, there's translations in French, Spanish, um, Japanese, all kinds of languages. But I guess there's an Italian forum. But he tells me that there is an Italian version of HeroQuest, of the remake, coming out uh, next month. So slowly, all the countries that got HeroQuest back in the day, all the regions and territories, are getting the remake. Now, it's going to throw some people off because there were different versions of the rules, of course. So uh, I think we're back now. Thanks for everyone's patience. We can open up a doctor's office. we got so much patience. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so let's see where we're at. I mean, I can deal with, you know, being a minute off or something or 30 seconds. But when it's telling me my connection's unstable and it's telling me that there's, you know, three minutes uh, delay, that kind of bugs me. So I'm looking at the timer. And it looks like we're maybe five, ten seconds delay. So this is much better than it was. So yeah, we're playing the Xanon Pass, Hero Quest, Barbarian Quest Back, Frozen Horror, Quest 1, 1992 style, but using the new board and characters. And using the Guardian Knights to supplement the fact that the Barbarian is having a tough time on this really tough uh, quest. And we've got a whole bunch of people who have been waiting patiently for this. So thank you to everybody. Hope you're having a good Saturday. We've got another TV viewer, L.A. Kaylee, Roxy, Six Flags Magic Mountain, Triangle Gathering, and we've got PSK Studio, PSK Knucklehead, Prince Knucklehead, you know, whatever you want to call him. He's here jumping back and forth, and so is Strange Bus. We've got Discord. We've got Amalgam Ash, uh, Do My Montalto, and a couple other people talking. But anyway, yeah, every uh, Friday we try to do something from 2 p.m. until like 2 to 4 p.m. Central Time. I've been reading uh, the Dave Morris Hero Quest novels. So we recently read uh, Fellowship of Four, which was pretty fun. Uh, and we did that stream for Shadzar. He's been having a tough time. So go to streamlabs.com slash Shadzar slash tip. Go ahead, donate, uh, help out his family. He was uh, having a ho housing problem. And then on Saturdays, we try to do 6 to 10 p.m. Most Saturdays, unless we're on vacation. Try to play some HeroQuest. Or maybe Space Crusade or some other game. But anyway, I'm going to be monitoring the chat. So if you want to participate, if you want to interact with us live, I encourage you to do so. I've got this uh, fancy timer now. So I can give you some time to respond. And you can actually use your... Uh, free currency or channel points. We call them gold coins. If you look in your chat on Twitch, if you're on Twitch Live, where we are, uh, the replay won't be posted on YouTube for 24 hours. That's the rule now that I've made affiliate. So thank you for helping me get to the stage. But yeah, if you click on the gold coins icon, you can uh, select uh, rewards and challenges. 
and you can actually vote for different options. So option one, two, three, four, five, six. You can uh, buy a potion for the heroes. You can buy a, a, a monster for Zargon. There's a bunch of fun things in there you can do. And again, I'm just getting used to it. So if there's some features that don't really work too well or are unpopular, we can remove those. If people have suggestions, we can add new ones. Um, I'm just hoping to get a little more interactivity because I know not everybody can, not everybody can be here uh, in person. Not everybody can talk on the Discord uh, voice channel, the Quest Talk voice channel. Not everybody is going to participate. But if you want to do a fun little thing, you'll only have to contribute one gold coin. You don't have to spend real money. It's uh, just channel currency that you get automatically just for chatting. And now we've got an ad. Uh, right as I was explaining. Okay, so I don't know if you can still hear me or not, but we've got an ad, so we'll just wait for that ad to be over. Yeah, I'll have to talk to some of you uh, Twitch gurus to tell me how to deal with the ads in a professional yet not obnoxious way. Okay, so it says, taking an ad break, stick around to support the stream. Okay, we're back. Um, yeah, I'm still getting used to all of this. I mean, they dump all this stuff on you. You get 50 followers, and it's like, welcome to the affiliate program, and they just throw a bunch of stuff at you. So yeah, we're getting used to ads, we're getting used to emotes, badges, channel points which we call gold coins but yeah welcome everyone and thanks for rolling with us as we get used to things here so i want to get back to the quest how about you so now that we've got an excellent internet connection instead of unstable looks like we got some time here so it says add in progress that doesn't make any sense Okay, well, maybe we'll just wait one minute for this ad to go by. Because I don't see it on my screen, but maybe there's a delay. Again. 156. Okay, well, it says that there's uh, 58 seconds. Well, while we're waiting, if this doesn't kill everything, I'm going to put the music back on because I, I miss that music. This is all royalty free. Medieval music created by various artists and posted online for free for anyone to use, including in monetized streams. So I think that was very generous of them to do that. Uh, it's going to be very faint because I don't want it to be overwhelming. It says ad in progress. How many ads are they going to throw at us? Oh, I get it. If you pause the ad, they're going to throw a bunch of them in a row. I'm sorry about that, everybody. So every 30 minutes, they're going to throw an ad at us. Oh, these ads are so long. Let's uh, let's scale them back. Okay. Now, if they force me to do it the other way, I guess do that. You got to laugh. It's funny. You know, back in the day when you got an ad on TV, it's like, okay, that's that's when you get to go to the restroom. That's when you go get more food. You know, and we would always mute the commercials because it would be like the, you're watching a movie and they played like the same ones over and over. And it'd be really loud and it's like, ah, uh, that's annoying. But then <laughs> we'd have it muted and we're getting our food or we're chatting and then it's like, oh, it's back, it's back. <laughs> and then we've missed like a few seconds because we didn't hear the audio cue. You know, we now return to the Saturday movie 
or whatever it was that you're watching with your family. Those were the days, the pre-cable days for us. Okay, so I think if we go back to Stream Manager here, it says we're live. It says our connection's excellent. Ad starts in four minutes. This is absurd. These these ads are like, okay, I think I got it fixed. <laughs> I got it fixed now. All right, welcome to HeroQuest fans. We're just rolling with it. So on your screen there, you should be able to see the Discord link down at the bottom um, where my finger is pointing down at the bottom here you've got your discord link and this uh, nice cool looking hero quest fans overlay was created by L Viler so thank you once again to L Viler for that so we're playing the Xanon pass hero quest uh, frozen horror barbarian quest pack solo number one 1992 and we just had the Guardian Knight roll boxcars on the dice. Double sixes. And so we're going to decide red room, option one, or option two, green room. And it says, welcome to the chat. Okay, I didn't know I'd ever left. Okay, so it's voting time now. Uh, please... Vote for Guardian Knight number two's room choice. Option one, red room. Option two, green room. Okay, so without cheating. <laughs> yeah, Elviler votes for option two, the green room. Thank you, Elviler. Anybody else uh, want to vote? I'm going to go ahead and throw the timer back up. I wonder if the timer is goofing us up. It shouldn't. It shouldn't because it's just a video. That's all it is. So I'll, I'll give you guys another minute to vote if anyone else wants to vote. Because, again, I could control all this myself, but I want to give people an opportunity. So if Elviler is the only vote, we're going to go with it and explore the green room. See, who else do we have in chat here? Let me just check. Okay, another TV viewer, Rogue Girl, Roxy, Six Flags, Magic Mountain, and Triangle Gathering. Welcome, everybody. wonder if there's people I can't see on the list. All right, we're going to go. We're going to go ahead and go with Elviler's choice. So he says green room box car. So we're probably going to take the safe, well, what we hope is a safe path over to the door. And we're just going to say he jumps each square on the way. So he's going to jump, 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 jump all the way to the door. So first square, we're going to roll the blind jump. So this was uh, from the draft. So if he gets a skull, he has to take whatever's on that square. Okay, so he successfully jumps that one. Boom. Next square, we're going to roll. See what he gets. Okay, he successfully jumped that square. This one. Jump that square. And now this one. And let's see. Let me just check the quest map. Um... Nothing bad there, so he's fine. Just to show you what he did. So jump, 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 jump to the door. Now he's going to open the door. And that means Zargon gets to reveal everything that's in the green room. And in this case, we finally get to reveal some stuff. So there is a tomb. Yes, this is 3D printed and painted by me. Actually, uh, I bought it from a guy who already had 3D printed it. This is back before I knew anybody that had a 3D printer. And it's not like super high resolution, but it was fun for me just learning how to, learning a little bit more about miniature painting. So we'll put the tomb there in the corner. And then there's also a monster. So we've got an abomination, one of these. Uh, which in the classic game, this would actually be a Fimmer. So he's standing right there. 
next to the tomb. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so he's, he's guarding the tomb. And I'll go ahead and show you the monster card for the Fimmer or the Abomination. In the remake, it's an, called an Abomination because they didn't have Games Workshop's uh, license. So, six movement, three attack, three defense, two body points, and three mind. And we've already encountered this monster before. Uh, one of them was encountered earlier and killed. So, not too bad. But they do have two body points. Got to keep that in mind. So yeah, we're not too far behind. Let me just check the timer here. Yeah, it looks like we're about 15 seconds. So that's about, that's tolerable. That's about right. Okay, so he moved one, two, three, four. And he's gonna go into the room and fight. So let's uh, let's hope that first square isn't uh, isn't a trap. So the Guardian Knight moves forward. And we're gonna say, we're just gonna use the names from before. Um, just say this is Blue Star, but he's not actually playing. So if anybody wants to rename him for this quest, that's fine because there are two knights. But you know, if he comes back, we'll let him uh, take, take over the character or get a new character if he wants. Okay, so he's gonna go ahead and attack. Actually, you know what? I just realized something. He has a crossbow. Uh huh. See, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play dumb for you guys. I'm gonna try to actually play right. So he doesn't have to enter the room to open the door. He's got his crossbow. He could just go ahead and shoot the monster, right? Let's see if anybody on Discord had anything to say. No. Okay. All right. So let's say he uses the crossbow to shoot the monster there. I mean, I could get out my little pointer, but there's obvious line of sight right there, so we can shoot him. So uh, he'll attack with three combat dice to use the crossbow. So we're rolling. And two skulls. So the monster will defend with three. So we're rolling for the monster's defense. He's got to get two black shields, or he's dead. And he didn't get any black shield, so boom, took him out. Actually, it's uh, it was a female abomination, so took her out. Blech. Okay, so that monster is destroyed, and then that's the end of his turn because he did movement, action. All right, so we are to Zargon's turn, and I have two monsters that I can, I can move. I got these two skeletons. So the first skeleton is going to move forward and attack the knight. Attack Blue Star's knight. Attack with two combat dice. So we are in combat. So one skull against the knight. The knight defends. Let's see. I believe he is still defending with his standard three. Because as a knight, he starts with a shield. One advantage to being a knight. So I got two body points. So got to defend... One shield. Oops. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Uh, no defense. Darn. Okay, well... I guess he loses one body point then. Now, if anybody wants to contribute 500 gold coins in the chat... Again, that's free money, uh, game money. You can uh, buy a potion for one of these heroes to try to save them. But I'm not trying to hold you hostage. I'm just, just saying. So, okay. So, Blue Star, the knight, is down to one body point. Now, he does still have Stalwart. He could use Stalwart to survive. I mean, this ability would let him come back with one, which would automatically kick in if he gets killed. Or she, depending on uh, what you want to say. Okay, so I've got my other skeleton. Um, 
Normally I'd move in for the kill, but I think in this case uh, we're just going to attack the Barbarian because he's target of opportunity. One, two. Skeleton attacks the Barbarian. Attacks with two. Barbarian only defends with, ooh, two skulls. Barbarian only defends with two. Now he does have Mighty Blow, this ability here, this skill. Uh, you multiply by two the final results, but I'm, I'm thinking he might need it later. So Barbarian's going to defend. He's got plenty of body points. He defends with two. He didn't get any defense, so he lost two body points. So he is down to five. I mean, they're taking taking their hits. They're taking some some licks. Okay, so that's all that I can do as Zargon, the evil wizard player. I moved both of the skeletons, and both of them attacked. Did some damage. Now it's the hero's turn. So the barbarian, of course, is going to attack. And he's got his broadsword, so that's three combat dice against this first skeleton here. Okay, that was one skull. Skeleton defends with two, I believe. Just make sure that I'm doing this right. I always forget the undead creatures' stats. Yep, it's two. Okay. Uh, one defend. Kaching. So that's uh, black shield blocked it. Well, darn. <laughs> okay. Um, he can still move. Got a seven. He's going to move into the corner. One, two. Okay, I should check and see where those squares safe or not. Should have had him jump every single square. Yep, he was safe. So there's no traps there. That's easy. Now, monsters monsters aren't affected by traps. That's just the rule. Okay, so now... Knucklehead. His knight. Um, I think we had a vote for the red room. So we're going to roll for movement first. It's treasure and fight. Fight and treasure, treasure and fight. That's what he does. So he's got a nine. And he's going to open the door. Revealing everything inside except for traps, secret doors, and treasure. Which may or may not be hidden there. And so far he sees a door on the other side of the room. And he also sees this ornate bookcase. So, a little 3D printed bookcase there. And so he's still got movement. I know he would never do this, but I'm going to do it. One, and search for traps. All right, we're searching for traps in the room, and Zargon reveals that this square, the ceiling looks dangerous. This square, the ceiling looks dangerous. Okay? So that's now the end of his turn. So those two squares, the ceiling looks dangerous right in front of him, blocking his path. Now he could try to jump over, or he could go the other way and see if he could maybe go around it. But now he could still search the room for treasure um, on his next turn. Because searching for treasure doesn't require you to move. It just searches the whole room, everything. Now, the only danger is if there was a furniture trap. But clearly, there's nothing wrong with that bookcase. So that's just how the HeroQuest mechanic works. And other games can be a little different. But that's how it works here. Let's get some more light. Okay. All right. So now it's back to uh, Blue Star's turn. Blue Star of the Night, the Blue Knight. He's right here in front of the door. Um, he can use an action to try to attack. But the question is, who's he going to attack? Ah, he could attack the skeleton here with the crossbow because he can shoot at him. 
with three instead of attacking with a short sword with two, that one there. Let's focus on the dice rolling box here. Three skulls. Well, that's an excellent roll. That's as, that's as good as he possibly could get. And since the skeleton only rolls two defense, he's killed it. All right. Nicely done. Nicely done. Now he does have his movement phase. So let's see what he gets for movement. Seven. Oops, that was off camera. Seven. And he can actually use that movement to step into the room. One. All right. Now it's uh, Zargon's turn. Well, oh, shoot. But if he gets killed in that room, well, I guess the monster would have to chase him to get his loot. You know what? Before we do the monster, I think the knight is just going to... One, two, three. There we go. That's a little safer. Okay. So instead of moving into the room, I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm just thinking strategically here. Stay next to the other uh, hero. Because when I'm playing as the heroes, I'm not trying to kill... <laughs> You know, be a suicidal with them. Uh, life is worth worth living. Okay, so did that. So now it's Zargon's turn. Okay, Skeleton is going to move forward and attack the Barbarian. So Skeleton attacks. Missed. Completely whiffed. Well, he's going to pay for that. Now it's the Barbarian's turn. The Barbarian is going to attack the Skeleton with three combat dice. Good shake. And two skulls. Monster tries to defend. One Blocked one was hit by the other. So, yeah. He uh, utterly smashes the skeleton down to the knuckle bones. He rolls the knuckle bones uh, for good luck. And what do you know? He got double sixes. <laughs> yep. Okay. But he doesn't believe in luck. He makes his own luck. He's that kind of guy. All right. So the Barbarian now gets movement. Five. So he's going to step into the room. One, two. So he stepped into the room. One, two. Into the room with the tomb, the green room. And I think we are a bit behind. So let me just check the stream here. Yeah, because I'm still rolling the dice. Now, the great thing is when I look back at the recording, sometimes it is all synced up correctly. So I don't know if that just means my browser has a little bit of lag or what. But yeah, so once you see the timer appear on screen, then I know that I'm synchronized again. Okay, so 25, 26, let's say 30 seconds behind. Okay, so the Barbarian has moved into the room, and since he doesn't have another action, we're going to go live via satellite to Knucklehead's Knight here. I guess you couldn't quite see. Uh, those two squares he already searched uh, and found there was traps there. So, but since he's always about the treasure, he's going to search for treasure. Because every room can be searched once by each hero for treasure. So let's see what he gets. Gold! A meager haul of just 10 gold coins is found in the pocket of a worn smell. As you can see, this is a custom card. I, I meant to write smelly. That was the original wording. Smell jerk. <laughs> Don't return this card to the deck. Okay. So he just got 10 gold coins. Still, it's something. So we'll add 10 gold to his uh, growing tally. Yeah, so he's got three, 305 by my count. All right, now he does have movement. So we're going to go ahead and roll for movement. Two. Well, he might as well start making his way the other direction. Because why Why? Why try to jump over those traps when you could fail? You just go the other direction and see if there's an alternate way into that room. So, one, two. 
All right, now we've got Blue Star, the Knight. It's going to roll for movement. Gets a four. Okay, so we got a four. So I think he's going to go into the tomb room along the safe path. One, two, three, four. Make sure there was no trap there. Safe so far. And he's going to search for traps. All right, no traps. All right, Zargon can do nothing. So, uh, except plot and fume, as evil often does, as chaos often does. Never sleeps. Okay, now we're back to the barbarian. So now he is going to search the room for treasure. And... When he searches for treasure inside the tomb, he finds a shield. So now the Barbarian has some armor. So we'll just add the shield to Strange Bus's Barbarian. Of course, the Knights already have shields. So now, instead of defending with two, he defends with three. As long as he holds the shield. And the only thing about the shield is it does prevent you from using a battle axe at the same time. Because that's a two-handed weapon. Same thing with a staff. But pretty much everything else, you can uh, you can have a shield in one hand and even the crossbow in another. It's uh, like a pistol crossbow. Okay, so... And yeah, it takes two hands to re reload it, blah, blah, blah. It's The game isn't that realistic. It just... That's the game balance um, for you. That's how it works. Okay, so the Barbarian did that. Now he's got... Uh, he can roll for movement. All right, got a uh, seven. Sorry, I need to focus the camera. Okay, seven. He's going to head back along the safe path. One, two, three, four, five. Right up to the secret door. Let's unzoom it here. Okay, right up to the secret door, the red room. But he's not going to use his full movement just because he doesn't have an action. So we'll wait till his next turn. And since we're not using the uh, evil wizard deck, you know, the Zargon deck, they don't have to worry about random events happening. All right, now it says we're connecting to chat. So I think we're having some connection issues again. Let me just double check. It says our connection's excellent. So yeah, if you're just joining us, welcome to HeroQuest fans. We're playing the Xanon Pass tonight here. That light is a little bright. Yeah, we had some connection issues earlier, but I think things are calmed down. But yeah, that's just a little bright there. Just checking the chat. Bronkbuster. Okay, we got a new viewer. Thank you for coming. Thank you for uh, checking us out here on HeroQuest Fans. We're playing a live game, and uh, the, sy the system issues we're having seem to have resolved themselves for the most part, but there is a still a slight delay. But yeah, we're playing with the remake set here, but we're playing the Barbarian Quest Pack from 1992, which will be released sometime this year, according to Avalon Hill and some uh, Swedish websites that... Um, leaked some info ahead of time i think it's going to be like 50 bucks or something which is a bargain considering how much it goes for on ebay these days and as long as it's a retail release i'll be buying it with the rest of you now if it's a pre-order exclusive i probably won't do it i was going to do a whole rant on pre-orders but that can wait because we're in the middle of a game here let's adjust that camera a little bit all right adjust the light Yeah, some Saturdays just, I don't know, they're working on the internet connection or there's just too many people on or something. I don't really know. But, yeah, once the timer appears, we'll know if it's synchronized or not. Oh, or they're playing an ad. See, I wish it would tell me that. It says ad in progress.
All right, welcome everybody to HeroQuest fans once again. Um, I'm still getting used to these ads and how they work, so sorry if there's any interruption, interruption there. We're playing the Xanon Pass, Barbarian Quest Pack, Frozen Horror, Quest 1 with uh, three characters here. Next weekend, I hope we can do a little bit more. We can actually get um, some more people playing live, but, you know, people have stuff going on. And that's cool. Okay, so where were we? Okay, so we got a seven. We rolled a seven for who was whose turn was it? Oh yeah, because the barbarian went. He got the shield. Blue star went in to the room, into the green room with the tomb. And uh, search for traps. Oh, he doesn't have to search for traps. It's already been done. He should search for treasure. Hopefully he doesn't get killed. <laughs> so we got our treasure deck here, which was shuffled last time, but not shuffled since then. I know, you should... Technically, the rules lead you to believe you're supposed to shuffle every single time someone searches. But the way we played it is we just shuffled it once at the beginning of the quest, and that was it. So, anyway. Gem. Tucked into the toe of an old boot, you find a valuable gem. The stone is worth 50 gold coins. Do not return this card to the deck. Okay. So, Blue Star gets his uh, 50 gold, which is great. So, I think this is the first gold he's gotten this session. And he had 50 before, so he's got 100 now total. If you can survive, you can use that gold at the armory and you can buy armor, weapons, potions. But you guys in the chat, if you want to contribute 500 gold coins, you can buy a potion for one of the heroes if you want from your uh, gold stash that you start with when you join our channel or just are lurking for a while. Okay, so after that, Zargon's turn. I have nothing to do, so we're back to the Barbarian. Did we skip someone's turn? If we did, oh well. It's, a, it's all good. Okay, so Barbarian is going to go next. First, focus the camera. We're ro rolling for movement. And he's got five. Five for movement. That's enough to go into the red room, which I think naturally we're going to do because that's the only other room unless there's some secret doors. All right, so he's going to step into the room. Oh, well, he's going to open the door first. And with a secret door, you just say open the door and the room is revealed. It's You don't have to put an... E the way I used to play is I would put one of these open doors down there, but you don't have to. Because if you do that, on a few quests, you're going to actually going to run out of these. And so you're going to be going on eBay, you're going to be getting your 3D printer out, trying to print out extra doors. You don't have to do that. You just you just leave the tile there and you say it's open. So we open the open up the room, and what do we see? So first thing we see is a weapons rack. Isn't that impressive? Well, not that impressive, but it's 3D printed. Whatever. Out of all the uh, furniture I got in that set, this was probably the least cool looking one. But So we put that up in the corner, upper corner. What else do we see? Well, uh, there is a monster, a new monster. This is a polar war bear. Yes, look at that guy. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty nasty dude. He's huge. He's got a huge spiked club. He's got a big nasty paw. This is one of those monsters that can do two attacks per turn. I know. Pretty deadly. So we'll put him right there. There's where he is. And I'll show you the card. So the Polar War Bear. Six movement squares. He can do two attacks. And you only get one defensive roll against those attacks total. So he rolls four and four. So one with the club, one with the paw. So I guess one of his uh, paws must be bad because otherwise, why would he's, why does he even need the club? He's got three defended dice, six body points. So he's, this is the strongest monster we've faced on this quest. So I wasn't kidding when I told you it was, it was hard. And he's got two mind points. So that's been revealed. So it's got the monster there. And let me check. The Barbarian doesn't have any ranged ability. 
Now he does have enough movement. He could, let's see, one, two, three. He could walk up to the monster, hoping there's no traps, and fight him. But he better come correct. Because, let's see, the Barbarian only has five body points left. So he could be wiped out in one round if he's not careful. So I think he's going to go ahead and move forward, unless anybody objects. Anybody in the chat want to object? If not, I'm just going to have him go for it, because he's a hero. That's what heroes do. So let's say he's going to go one, two, three. He's going to jump, jump, jump. So he's, ju he's going to jump this square, this square, and he's going to try to land there. So the first one, hopefully there's no trap. We'll just roll one combat die to have him try to jump the jump the square. Got a skull. Okay. Is there any trap there? No, there isn't. Okay. Jump in the next square. Another skull. Okay. Well, there's no trap there. Okay. And then he's landing on this square, and there's no trap, so he's safe. Okay. Now he's going to attack with the broadsword, which is three. However, he does have this card. And he should definitely use the mighty blow. Summon up, you summon up a hidden reserve of strength and wealth and will for a concentrated attack. And we lost our music. Let's uh, let's get some music going again. I think we've got some battle music. Let's try this. Try this out. It's all dramatic now. It better not be playing an ad. That's all I can say. Alright, so he's going to use the Mighty Blow. Which I've been wanting to use this whole time, but I mean, you know, you got to use it when you got to use it. So that means, um, after rolling your combat dice, multiply by two the final die results and apply the results against your opponent. Well, so hopefully he gets a good roll with three combat dice. Now, if it's nothing, then it's wasted. Okay, two skulls. So multiply by two, that means four. So that's four skulls against that monster. Let's zoom in on the battle here. Okay, so four, four skulls, essentially. Now the monster gets to defend and I said he defends with three. Now he's got six body points is the only, only problem there. Okay, so he's gotta beat four body points of damage. Uh, no defense, so he just lost four body points, wow. So we get out our skull tiles. So we got four of them underneath him because that's how you keep track of multi-body point monsters in the North American version. So he's got two left. Now he's even taller. Okay, so that was, a, that was a good one. So the Mighty Blow is used up. After the Barbarian, of course, completely oblivious to all this, is uh, PSK, the Knucklehead Prince, and he um, he's gonna make his way around because he's looking for the treasure. He's not getting killed. Eight. Of course, when he was fighting for his life, the other guys didn't know about it. So, anyway, eight movement. Okay, so he's gonna make his way down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a shorter way through the green room. Seven, eight. I think I did that right. Okay, so now he's down in the hallway, the corridor. Heading towards the gray room. Heading west. Go west, young man. And he has an action, so he's in a corridor. Might as well search for secret doors. There's no secret doors. Okay. Just so you don't waste your action. You might as well use it. All right. Now, we've got Blue Star. Blue Star, you better get in there before that Barbarian gets aced. So hopefully he gets enough movement. He has no speed potions or anything. 
So we're just going to have to hopefully get a good roll. Six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can go right in the doorway. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six in the doorway. And we'll just zoom in to show you. He does have line of sight to the polar war bear, to the monster. Right there. Use my little stick. So he can definitely shoot him with the crossbow. And he probably should. So three combat dice for the crossbow to try to shoot the polar war bear. Let me just focus back on the dice box. Oh, completely missed. Sorry, buddy. He tried. He really did. Zargon's turn. All right, so we're going for the Barbarian. Attacking the Barbarian. This could be it for our hero. So I get to roll four combat dice, first of all. I get two attacks, and he only gets one defensive roll. Good thing he's got that shield. Uh, three skulls. Ooh, this isn't looking good. Three skulls against the... Oh, you didn't see that, but yeah, it's, it's legit. Three skulls. And... Really, he should roll one more time. Okay, so there's three skulls so far. Let's roll again, because it's the second attack. Uh, two skulls. So, five skulls total. Dang, that's a lot. So, five skulls. Now, the Barbarian only gets three defense, because he's got a shield. So, he's got to beat five skulls. And he's got five body points left. This could be the end. The Barbarian, it'd be a shame. Uh, one shield. Wow. <laughs> so he blocked one. So he gets hit by four skulls. And so that means he's down to one body point. Wow. Wow. So he lucked out there. Down to one. Now he can't survive another hit. Talk about drama, right? Anything can happen. All right, Strange Bus is sending a message. Ah, oh, Strange Bus is going to join us. Awesome. Yes, we are stable again. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Yeah, I got to keep track of all the chats. Well, this is why we get moderators. If we can, if we can get moderators in here and they can be monitoring the chat and kind of giving me updates. Those are our best times, but I realize not everybody has the same schedule. So, um, yeah, we do what we can. Let's go ahead and adjust the camera a little bit here. So Strange Bus will be joining us, so he'll be happy to see that his guy's almost dead. See, I'm just killing off the characters when you're not here. I'm totally kidding. I'm not I'm not doing that on purpose. It's just the way the dice roll. Sometimes you get good ones, sometimes you get bad ones. Like PSK was saying, man, he gets just the worst luck when he's not here. But I I disagree. I think he got some good cards. Yeah, he took some hits, but man, he got some good treasure. Alright, so the monster is attacked. Did a whole bunch of damage to the Barbarian, but he's still alive. He's got one hit left. No potions to protect him. No skills left. But it is the Barbarian's turn. So he's going to go ahead and attack that monster. Try to finish him off. Because he's only got two body points left. The monster does. He's got six body points. I mean, it's like a boss monster. I mean, it's stronger than a Gargoyle. Stronger than a Chaos Warrior. It's like the strongest monster that they've ever faced. If you're going from the game system to this, man. Or even, uh, I don't even think the Witch Lord had that many body points. So he's attacking with the broadsword. Two skulls. Okay, the monster only defends with three. Two skulls, and he got no defense. Boom. Wiped him out. Ugh. Made a bearskin rug out of him. Or not even that. He did, uh, so... He um, he skinned the the monster. He he has this nice uh, fur robe, 
and it's got the like you know the 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 front of the bear face that goes over you know how the barbarians always wear that kind of a fur cape and hood so that, that'll keep him warm so he was really glad to get that and now he's got movement left but does he want to risk it if there's any traps in the room i think he's going to just stay right where he's at <laughs> okay now psk the knucklehead prince the man the knight the legend the myth all that all that good stuff he is gonna go and head towards that gray room because he senses there could be treasure there and if not he's gonna oh man he only got two that's kind of a bs roll so snake eyes well one two all right that's all he could do see he's getting those bad rolls all right now let's go back to uh blue star I keep wanting to say Blue Star the Wizard. So in Lone Wolf, there's Gray Star the Wizard, the world of Lone Wolf. We'll have to do a stream about that. That was an awesome series. So Lone Wolf and then Gray Star. But yeah, Blue Star. So he's going to roll for movement. Join the Barbarian. Six. He rolled uh, three and a three for six. So he's going to enter the room. One. And he's going to search for traps. Because we can't afford to take any more damage. No traps. Okay. Zargon can't do anything because there's no living monsters on the board. Thanks to our Barbarian. So the Barbarian's turn. He's going to search the uh, room with the armory. Or the weapons rack, I should say. He's going to search for treasure. Excuse me. If the Barbarian searches for treasure, he finds uh, a longsword in the weapons rack. So the longsword is still only three attack dice, but it does allow you to strike diagonally. So he's got a longsword. Awesome. And actually, um, yeah, I'm going to have him roll for movement. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't matter what he got. He got an 8. He's going to move adjacent to the knight. Adjacent to blue star. And he's going to hand him his broadsword. So now... Blue star has a broadsword instead of a short sword. Well, he has them both because he didn't get rid of it. So he's got a broadsword. So now blue star will attack with 3. Adjacent with the broadsword. And he can attack at range still with his crossbow. And he's got the short sword just in case. In case he needs a backup weapon. Because those ice gremlins, remember, can steal your weapon. They just can't steal the weapon out of your hand. And they can't steal the armor off your back. I don't think they can steal the shield that you're carrying either. So if that if that ever happens, he doesn't have to worry. But if he did lose a weapon, yeah, it's like, oh, they stole my short sword. Oh, well. Let me just double check that. Ice Gremlin, okay, cannot steal the armor or the shield the hero is using, nor the weapon he's wielding. Otherwise, he can take any other one item. And if he gets off the board and you don't catch him, it's gone. But there is a way to recover it. Because in the future, if you run across uh, one of these treasure stashes, there's a special room. And it has all the stuff that the Ice Gremlins have stolen thus far. And you can try to reclaim it. So... But you have to survive a lot of nasty quests to get to that point. But by that time, you're really going to need it. Okay, so he passed the broadsword to his friend there. And next we've got uh, PSK. Okay, and he rolled a 10. See, we've got names for... So if you get two sixes, it's boxcars. If you get two ones, it's snake eyes like the best possible roll and the worst possible roll for two d6s but what do you call these i mean two fives does that have a, a name i'm just really curious if anybody knows like any other doubles so he got a 10 so he can pretty much go wherever he wants but since there's a brick wall there as you can see he's just going to go towards the room one open the door so he's going towards the gray room finally 
And let me just check the quest map. What does he see? Okay, on the, on the far side of the room, he sees a closed door. Right here. And he also sees a couple of monsters. So there is a couple of orcs. Here and here. So we got these nasty looking orcs. And the orcs, of course, are our standard enemy. Probably one of the most common enemies you'll face other than like skeletons and the undead missions. So there are the stats for the orc. Eight movement, three attack, two defense, only one body, and two mind. The strange bus just redeemed a bonus monster for Zargon. Oh, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Thank you, buddy. So the forces of chaos have an ally in strange bus. Ah, what monster should it be, though? Is it Zargon's choice? Hmm, there's eight monsters. Well, we're not counting the uh, frozen horror monsters. Oh, man, this is the first time doing this. So, this is awesome. Oh, well, thank you, Strange Bus. What a good sport. Okay, let's get out an, a D8. The D8. I know, D&D &D dice, right? But... How else are you going to do it? So we're going to assign values for these. So I think uh, one, two, three are going to be the green skin monsters in order. And then four, five, six are going to be the undead monsters in order, you know, from weakest to strongest. And then seven and eight, oh man, are going to be the gray monsters. That's really, really nasty. And the monster is going to appear in that room. So PSK is going to have his uh, work cut out for him. All right, let's roll the D8 and see what we get. One. Wow. <laughs> He's the luckiest guy ever. Trying to participate while I'm still getting here. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Strange Boss. Yeah, man. The rivalry between you and Knucklehead is growing. <laughs> First you steal his treasure well he steals your treasure back and forth and yeah now we're getting monsters i don't even know anymore who's who's ahead but yeah um actually no he stole your treasure that was the thing of course he was going to trip you eh, it's fun it's all fun in games okay so one that's a goblin <laughs> so you really definitely lucked out well i have to go grab a goblin one second i know that came out wrong sorry you're right back family friendly stream Okay, I'm back. So yeah, this, the uh, stream started out a little rough with all the system issues we were having, all kinds of nonsense, but I'm having a good time. I'm having fun. So thanks everybody for participating. All right, so we got our goblin. I just figured, you know, on this special occasion, I'm going to use some of these mythic tier monsters. So this was the, there we go, autofocus. This was the monster with the, uh, Little claws, claw extensions. So, yeah, we'll just throw him in there in the room. So now there's three monsters there. So now he's still got movement. He's still got movement. He can he can go in and attack. Of course, now PSK's knight still only has a short sword. He's gonna get attacked by three monsters. So which one should he attack? Should he attack the orc? the orc or the goblin I mean they're all I mean the goblin is pretty pretty easy to eliminate then he's gonna get attacked by two orcs maybe she, he should attack the orc oh we're getting a nad gotta pay the bills
Okay, sorry about that, folks. We just had to do a quick ad break. Yeah, see, um... I need to just keep track of all that stuff a little better. Sorry about that. Still getting used to the ads. Okay, so... We got the bonus monster, thanks to uh, Strange Bus, contributed to... Because Zargon never gets anything, you know? Uh, we're getting to the end of this quest, and a little bit of extra challenge, so a goblin was rolled, using the D8. And... He's got enough movement he can go in. I think he's going to just attack the first orc. One! And he's going to jump all the squares on his way there, because there could be traps, right? So he's jumping that square. We're going to have him roll. Skull. Okay, but there was no trap. Okay, he's jumping the next square. Skull. No trap. Jumping the next square. Skull. <laughs> but there's no trap. Okay, so he's safe. Well, relatively safe. Okay, he's going to attack the orc with his uh, short sword. So two attack dice. One skull. The orc defends with two. It's a hammer orc. Uh, no defense, so he kills the orc. Ugh. So he takes a swing, uh, cuts him through the belly. The orc like falls down. He grabs the orc's uh, hammer and just just pummels him down, just like he's driving a nail into the into the pavement. So. Got him. All right, so that's the end of his turn. And now we've got... Um, Blue Star. So Blue Star has his newly acquired broadsword. Now he could search for treasure. Just because the special treasure has been found doesn't mean he can't search. Now he's got to be careful because he's down to one body point. But I think in this quest we're going for all the treasure. We're going for all the marbles. So he's going to search for treasure. Nothing. Despite a thorough search, you find nothing. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Nothing good or bad happens. It just is what it is. And that's the only one like that in the deck, so... You're not going to get that again unless you exhaust, completely exhaust the treasure deck using card counting techniques. Okay, so Blue Star, he still does, ha he still has movement, so he might as well make his way back. Eight. Now the only question is, they got to find the exit door. So where is that exit door? Okay, so he's going to start heading back. One, through the safe, well, safe path. Two, I gotta, just got to check, sorry. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the only on other unexplored region is this way to the right. So to the uh, to the east and then to the north, because that was the path that the ice gremlin took. So up this way is not explored yet. There's an ad going. Oh man. Okay, I'll just wait eight seconds then. Okay, yeah, I guess I don't quite, I'm not quite used to the ads, so I'm sorry if an ad was running. So what happened was, um, PSK killed the, killed the first orc, then Blue Star rolled and uh, moved his way out of the room, and we're just thinking, okay, what's unexplored? Well, this area to the east and to the north, because they're still looking for the exit door get out of this quest with all of their treasure and their lives intact so okay so after blue star 
it is the monster's turn, Zargon's turn. So Zargon is going to go ahead and move. See, it's weird because on the stream manager, like it'll say add in progress, but when I look at the channel, it won't show the ad plane. So I don't quite understand. You can control those ads. Yeah, you're right, Strange Bus. And I'm trying to do it so that, yeah, it plays some ads because they require it, but not to just do it obnoxiously when I'm trying to do something. Because I assume when an ad's playing, you can't see me and you can't hear me. And when it the when the ad goes away, it just starts already in progress. It's like it doesn't rewind or anything like that. So anyway, I'm a new affiliate. I'm getting used to it. When I play it back, I mean, if you missed a big chunk of stuff because the head was playing, I apologize. But I'm used to just seeing it playing on the screen. I know there's a little bit of a delay. There's like 30 seconds uh, delay. So yeah, and it warns me when an ad's coming. I've been snoozing a couple of it a couple of times, but you can only do that so often. All right. So what we got to do now is move our monsters. So we're going to move this orc to attack PSK attack the knight and he's going to attack with three and no skulls so complete miss complete whiff he's just that cool you know he just calm and collected and just whizzes right by him doesn't do a thing it's like that all you got all right so now the goblin is going to move one two the bonus goblin and is going to attack only attacks with two because he's a goblin. Uh, one skull. Now, of course, PSK defends with three, being a knight. And he blocks it. ka -ching! Which is good, because he only has two body points left. Okay, so that's the end of Zargon's turn. I mean, I guess I could move the orc, but... Nah, doesn't really matter. Um, okay, Barbarian. So the Barbarian is going to, he's in the room there, he's going to search for secret doors. Because there could be a secret door in that room, right? Potentially. Uh, but there isn't, so he finds nothing. But he can still move. I'm just saying, when you're this close to the end, you got to find, find the way out. Okay, six. So he's going to head back to where Blue Star is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Being careful to avoid those potential traps. All right. And now PSK gets to gets to go. We'll see what he gets for for movement here. Eleven. I hope you're enjoying the royalty-free music that's playing. Okay, so we got 21 minutes till the next ad. I think we're going to be all right. Ah, well, thanks, Elviler, um, maker of our cool overlay that we're using now. Yeah, I, I just have to find out how it all works. I mean, there's tutorials online you can find out about Twitch. Because all this affiliate stuff is just, I mean, it's brand new. I've only been an affiliate for two days. Um, already trying to figure it out. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention... The uh, YouTube stream from last night. So last night we did a, a stream where I was reading Fellowship of Four, interactive book. And it's funny because we got all the way to the end. And no, I'll, I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it. Because there were some interesting features of that particular adventure that were different than any other adventure I'd played. But if you catch the replay on YouTube, it's playing right now, in fact. Because it's like three hours. But I'm not saying you should avoid us and go check this out. But this stream you won't see for 24 hours after it ends. So you can always watch the other one anytime. Because the YouTube premiere is just a YouTube premiere. I mean, if I'm there, I'll be chatting with people. But I'm there's no way I'm going to be chatting with people there and, and here. Oh, thanks for the PM. Okay, so Strange Bus has got the 411. Yeah, I know the ads are a whole uh, a whole thing. Yeah, of course, I'll let you in, Strange Bus. No problem. You can definitely play. Just because you uh, show up late doesn't mean that you can't play. 
and I'm, I'm willing to be flexible and accommodate people who want to participate, um, great or small. So, okay, so the Barbarian did that, uh, moved his way there, and now we've got PSK, so he's going to attack the Orc, because of course he will. Attack the Orc that's in front of him. Except I gotta remember he's got a short sword still, so it's two attack dice. Attacking the Orc right there. One skull. Okay, the Orc defends with two. Kaching Blocked it. Alright, well PSK could move. He could run into the room, but does he really want to do that? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if there's really much point in moving at this point. I mean, he could back up. Oh yeah, that's a tactic you can use. So block the door. So one, two, three. He's blocking the door. So now only one monster can attack him at a time. That's a technique they show you in the game manual. It seems cheap, but it works. Got to use your noggin. All right, strange bus. Oh, he's going to PM me when he comes back in. So, OK, cool. So yeah, don't forget uh, people in the chat, in the Twitch chat live, you can go ahead and use any of your gold coins to vote for stuff, pick options. You can buy potions for the heroes, you can buy monsters for Zargon to fight with your gold. Uh, we've got some new people. We've got Elverg. Um, we've got 0AX2, welcome back. And of course we've got uh, Triangle Gathering, Six Flags, Magic Mountain, Roxy, Rogue Girl, another TV viewer. And of course, Strange Bus is on his way. PSK is lurking somewhere. Um, thank you all for joining us. Thank you for helping us meet our affiliate, and we're just growing and growing. Next goal is to recruit 60 heroes. That is, get 60 followers on Twitch. YouTube, we're way bigger on YouTube than we are on Twitch. I mean, we're still small time, but... I couldn't have done it without you, so thank you all for for your help. Cheers, Dead Gamer. Just getting a swig of water there. It's way too late to be drinking sweet tea. All right. Strange Bus is, is going live. Awesome. So it just needs a minute. So we got an ad in 16 minutes. So, yeah, we're playing Hero Quest. We're playing Hero Quest live, and I love it. Now, it'd be great if we were all on together, but I realize we can only do what we can do. Everybody's got different schedules. Just adjust that lighting a little bit. It's just a little bit harsh. Even with the matte finish on the board, it's just a little bit intense. Okay. So PSK moved to a more strategic position, and now we're going to switch over to Blue Star. Blue Star the warrior, Blue Star the fighter, Blue Star the knight. Blue Star the west, Blue Star the east, Blue Star the knight. Okay, he got a seven. And a seven for movement, and we're going to have him continue to head towards... Uh, what is hopefully the goal? One, two, three, four, five. Now we got to reveal anything that's in that hallway. Well, of course it wouldn't be because you've already been through there. All right, heading north. Six, seven. Searching for traps. No traps. Okay, Zargon's turn. Alright, now we're cooking. So the strange bus is starting his stream, he says. So let me just check. Should be able to see when he starts, actually. I know one time he simulcast our uh, stream, and that was pretty cool. That was pretty awesome. 
But yeah, check him out anyway. He's got all kinds of like good gaming stuff. And P underscore S underscore case underscore studio. Check him out. He's got awesome stuff as well. Still prepping. Okay. That's cool, man. Yeah, Strange Bus, you go ahead and join us when you can. We've got like an hour. I blocked out a whole hour left on the stream, so we can do whatever. I mean, even after the quest is over, I mean, if you guys survive, you get to go shopping. So our next ad is starting in 14 minutes. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. So we'll make adjustments to the to the gold system. We'll make adjustments to the ads and all that stuff. So our next stream will be a lot smoother, as long as we don't have internet problems. There's not much I can do about that other than restarting everything. We can't all be Joe Rogan in the desert with the you know T1 line or fiber optics line just so we can play Quake. Just jealous. Okay. All right. So what was I doing? Oh yeah, Zargon. Okay. So the orc is going to move forward one, two, three, because only one monster can attack him at a time. Orc attacks with three. Attacking PSK, mighty knucklehead. Uh, missed again. Wow. Okay. Well, and the goblin is going to move forward also one, two, but can't really do anything because you know the door is blocked. Monsters can pass through one another, but can't pass through heroes and vice versa. All right. So barbarian's turn. Barbarian rolls for movement. Strange bus, this would be you. Get a five. Okay, acknowledge. Yeah, so the great thing about Twitch is you can be you could be watching like four or five different people at the same time. Now, if you don't have some people muted, you're gonna have people talking over each other. It's gonna sound weird. But yeah, support your favorite streamers. Okay, so we got four. I don't know why I said five. It's actually four. I can count, I, I promise you. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Gonna head in the same direction. One, two, three, four. Yeah, am I going deliberately slow so that he can catch up? Maybe. All right, PSK is gonna go. Uh, he's gonna attack the orc. Attack with short sword. It's two. One skull. Orc defends with two. Orc on the doorway. No defense. Bam! Stabs the orc. Draws the orc in. Slams the door on him. On her a few times. Uh, and then, you know, finishes her off with a fatality. Alright, so that orc is destroyed. See, only, only uh, PSK can do his uh, dramatic kills, but I'm trying. I'm trying to be creative. All right. He's got movement. And he's got a seven. So now he could run past that goblin. Of course, those goblins have a lot of movement. Let me just show you the goblin card. So there's the goblin. Ten movement. So the fastest monster other than the ice gremlin. But very weak. Two attack, one defend, one body, one mind. One love. Alright. So he could try to run past him. Be kind of funny. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. But why bother? He's just gonna stand there. Alright, let's see how Strange Bus is doing. Stream started. Do my intro now, join your channel when ready. Awesome. Thank you, Strange Bus. So yeah, I wasn't trying to take away all the action. I know that probably people on YouTube are getting tired of the Xanon Pass, but as you can see, we've demonstrated time and again how difficult it is. We added two heroes to this with seven body points each, and we added the combat cards for the Barbarian, and still it's a difficult quest. Still it's very difficult. So if you're playing it by yourself, I would make some modifications. It'll be interesting to see what Avalon Hill does, Hasbro, when they re-release it later this year. 
But yeah, by default, it is just a killer of a quest. Like, you'll be replaying it over and over and over again. And really, according to the rules, Zargon's supposed to rearrange the map every time you fail it. So it's not like you can just straight memorize it. Cheers, Dead Gamer. All right. Cool guy. Check him out on YouTube. Okay. So I uh, killed the orc. He's staying, blocking the door. So now it's Blue Star's turn. Oops. Just had a little problem with my camera there. Let me just fix it here. I was leaning it against the arm and the arm came loose. Okay, there we got him in view. Okay, so PSK, uh, he's going to roll for movement. Three. Not much of a roll. Okay, so one, two, three. Might as well use an action. Uh, search for secret doors. No secret doors. Still, you can't be too careful. All right, so monster's turn. So now this goblin is going to move forward and attack. PSK, and he only gets to attack with two. Um, no, I'm not on quest talk, but I can jump onto it right now. So, Discord folks, I'm going to be jumping into quest talk voice channel. Let me just tell Strange Bus that I'm doing that, so he can he and I can interact, and we should you should be able to hear him on the stream too. So yeah, in the HeroQuest fans Discord, we'll be jumping in. So if you want to talk to us live, that's all you have to do. Just click on HeroQuest fans uh, Discord, and then where it says Voice Channels under General. Just click on Quest Talk and allow your microphone. Hello, Strange Bus, are you there? And he jumped out. Okay, I don't know if he just had a problem or All right, let me just check the stream here, just make sure we didn't lose audio. Okay, I don't know if he just had a problem or, there we go. Hey, Strange Bus. All right, we got Strange Bus with us now. Uh, welcome to HeroQuest fans. Thanks for joining us. I know you had to join us late, but better late than never. Appreciate it. So are you simulcasting right now? Or are you doing your own stream? Either way, it's cool. I just wanted to see what you were up to. Right. Hello? Am I, am I good? <laughs> yeah. Hey, he's back. I'm I can okay. hear you now. <laughs> so, <Strange> bus, <laughs> my gentlemen. laptop tried to connect at first, and then, uh, I like, I lost everything. So I'm I'm oh. sorry about that. <laughs> See, I thought I was the only one having <laughs> issues. See, we need that little applause sound effect. So, welcome, Strange Bus, to HeroQuest fans once again. So, am I on your stream too now? Uh, yeah. Uh, right now, you're. Um, if anybody's looking at my stream right now, they're looking at the BRB sc uh, screen. So at the moment, I just did my intro, and then I'll be uh, showing your stream here any moment awesome. once we jump back in the action. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'll just give you a quick recap of what's happened. Um, yeah, we had all kinds of issues. I had to restart my computer, restart my internet, everything. Yeah, it said unstable connection. So it's like, oh, great. But that's what happens on live. Uh, live TV or live uh, stream. So we were playing the Xanon Pass. We picked up right where you guys left off because I didn't think, honestly, that uh, we'd get anybody tonight. I mean, we had Al Viler, uh send us this cool little overlay uh, for the video. Looks good. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's cool. It adds some character. And I've been playing around with the badges and the, uh, of course, you took advantage and 
and use that. So thanks for interacting. Oh yeah, I, I uh, just to let you know, not like I said, not to hold up anything, but as no. soon I as soon as I could on the way home because um, we had uh, we kind of like a family or not a family dinner, but kind of like a, a dinner here that uh, I did not expect or I would have hopped right in tonight. But sure, that's um, okay. I uh, started looking. I was like, "Oh, I bet he's got he's got a whole bunch of stuff set up." And I was like, "Oh, look at all this! <laughs> look at all this stuff he's got he's got going on." You uh, yeah. you wasted no time. Got the no. gold coins thing and every everything. So yeah. yeah, I took advantage of that. Awesome. Yeah, just to remind everybody. So we've got these options now. Now it doesn't cost real money to do this. Um, you you get a certain amount of gold. So when you started, did you, did you have three hundred gold or how much did it give you? Um, so actually what I did, I don't, I don't know if you caught it. Um, I get a prime sub that I'm allowed to use. So I subbed oh, to your channel. Okay. And so you, you guys do start off with, um, a base level amount of gold coins. What'll happen is as you're interacting with the stream, you will get a small amount each time. So it really just, it's kind of like my discord how I set up my discord. Twitch does the same thing. Okay. If you guys interact with the stream or if you at least just stay in chat. It'll just feed you those those coins, and um, you can use those coins to interact with the uh, the host. That's and what they're doing. So all these, yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, because I I'm still getting used to it. Um, so all these lurkers that are just sitting here, you know, doing the dishes, painting their miniatures, feeding their cat, you know, just listening to in the background, they're building up mm -hmm. gold. So when they finally get on here, they can do. All kinds of amazing things because <laughs> I have all this gold built up. That's how you do it. Yeah, that's how. You yeah, do and it. it's and it doesn't take a lot. It looks like a lot of the stuff that you have here is only, only takes a very small amount. Yeah, I did but that you on can, purpose because um, I wanted people to be able to jump right in and not necessarily have to be a long time supporter. Right. To do that. And the the big the great part about it is like really, um, I, the more you interact with chat, I think there's a there's a a graph somewhere in here that'll tell you if you. If you sub, you get like I think 500 or so extra points. Or if you do something oh, um, like you, you you get hosted in a raid, like if you stay in a raid or something like that. Whatever, as long as you're in chat during an event, you'll get extra points. But just staying in chat will feed you those small points. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to sub. Um, but like gifting a sub or subbing does help. Yeah, I saw. Um, it. It's I just a you bonus. Thank you for doing that. That was generous. Yeah, yeah, no problem, yeah. no problem at all. It's kind of like a congratulations. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and I saw, um, I'm not going to call anybody out, but we did have uh, some donations to Shadzar, so that was cool. Um, I'm glad that happened. Yes. And of course, it doesn't yes. say how much, but any little bit helps, I'm sure. I'm sure he appreciates it. Uh, um, yeah, and that was a that was a big thing. He was kind of really hard to get a hold of, so, yep. and uh, kind of relating with that fact that I've, I haven't been exactly in his position, but I've known family, and I've I've been relatively in kind of that same hard spot, and it sucks. So, um, yeah, sure. I don't know if you've already given that shout out. I've brought that up before, but yeah, it's um, anything helps in that sort of situation. Right. Yeah, and and I've been saying too. It's like if you want to send me money on my channel, I mean, great, thank you. Um, but there's other people that need it more, so by all don't means, break the bank, them. folks. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just a stream and and the way i look at it is this like i don't want to set it up this is just my philosophy i don't want to set it up where it's like you know kind of like video games that have microtransactions like oh you can play to win oh you can gamble it's like i don't want to do that i want people to be able to participate but if still if they want to give me something just to say thank you on the stream that's cool like i'll accept it but um you got other people that have got real problems and yeah somebody like Shadzar, I mean, he doesn't use his real voice on the streams. He keeps very private. That's cool. You know, um, especially if you talk about controversial topics. Sometimes you get weird people that come after you, and it's like, I understand yeah. why he does that. But at the same time, it's like, okay, you've got a problem. You want to reach out for help. And it's like, how do you do it? And it can be embarrassing for people, too. It's like, you know, admitting that, hey, I can't do it all myself. Um, you know, it, it takes, it takes uh, you have to set a, set a little bit of your pride aside to do that so yeah i just hope whatever uh whatever comes down his way uh helps out so yeah thank you to anybody who was thinking of helping him out for sure all right so can you hear that music just to, playing uh, in the background by the way or no? um i could on the on the stream actually here let me go ahead and because i've got to um 
I can't actually put your stream audio on mine because it has that delay. So, um, but yes, I could hear when I was watching it. Ah, so, okay. So my simulcast might have some different music. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so if you uh, if you want an alternate soundtrack, you can check out the Strange Bus on Twitch. Um, he's a good guy to check out anyway. But yeah, if you don't like my musical selections, my royalty free medieval music, uh, you can go ahead and check out his. It's alternative royalty free <laughs> medieval ah. music. <laughs> So it's it's really just the shout out to it's, Audio Jungle or whatever. Yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Just epic. It's an epic alternative, you know, mix. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, just choking on my water there. So I laugh. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Zargon. Zargon's dying. He's dying. Oh man, that's good news for the for the kingdom. <laughs> And it just to, <laughs> just to let you know, if we if we don't have too many people doing that, I might use some of more of my points to interact with the uh, oh man the the stream. He's but break the game. <laughs> yeah, I've I've also done a, a couple a uh, couple things here too, um, because 40, I know that I'm 40, probably going to be participating. Oh, sorry, I was going to say forty thousand gold coins to flip the table. I'm just kidding. We're yeah. not really going to do that. If this is tabletop <laughs> simulator, maybe now PSK says we should go full automation. We could should use Foundry, but. We still haven't really had a chance to do the tutorial and do all that stuff. Anyway, you were going to say Strange Bus. Sorry. Well, no, no, it's fine. I But I wanted to check this through with you here live. But the uh, the big thing is, is I'm probably going to be here, at least try to be here every week that you've got this event going on. Oh, cool. And the more people yeah. we get involved, I'm probably going to want to try to um, see if we can get... Maybe like a, a not a giveaway, but like a like maybe a sub a sub giveaway event. Um, I've got some stuff tucked away through Twitch, so um, it's not any of my personal fundage that's going out. But for anybody who's um, in the chat, who's going to be in the chat interacting with us, um, I'll I'll be gifting probably every once in a while. So and those gift subs go to people in chat, I believe. Oh, nice. And that's a free that's a free sub. So cool. So they get to they get more features when they when they're subbed. And yeah, emote, I believe. Yeah, it's, and if they want get, if so. they want to pay for like more months after that, that's up to them. Correct. Cool. Yeah, and you know, I'm just I'm going to have to do my own research cuz I of course want to follow all their rules, do everything by the book. Um, but I know that if you make income through Twitch, you got to pay taxes on it. It's like, uh on the other hand, though, what if you give away the stuff? Does that make you a... Well, I guess you'd have to file as a non-profit, so maybe there's more... You just it. report it, yeah. Yeah, report it. Yeah, so we're brand new to this sort of thing. And actually, Strange Bus, you're getting close to affiliate status, too, if I remember correctly. I was 9 away, but I think somebody well, didn't like my content. I'm 10 away now, but it's okay. Oh, okay. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, <laughs> What? I can't believe that stunt you pulled back when you pulled that stunt. <laughs> yeah, I know. After what you pulled. Under virtual. All right. So, long story short, we are back in the Xanon Pass. <laughs> back to the game. So, the Barbarian All right. is down to one body point. You didn't see what happened. He, or maybe you did. You came up, excuse me, you came up against this Polar War Bear, which is a really, it's like the worst monster you've faced so far. He gets two attacks. So, basically, he okay. gets to hit you with uh, eight dice, and he has six body points. And you had him down, like you did. You used your Mighty Blow. Uh, I had you use that attack. And you had him down to two body points. And yeah, he he, uh, he hit you with five skulls. And you rolled one white shield. And you had five body points. So you escaped with one body point. Oh and, my gosh. And uh, PSK, um, sorry, PSK over here, he's got two body points left. He still has Stalwart, so he could still come back. Blue Star could still come back with Stalwart, but he's down to one body point as well. But I have a feeling you're getting to the end of the quest. So, right now... If I survive. If you survive. So right now, uh, we just did... Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's Sargon's turn. So the Goblin is going to attack PSK with two. Yeah, I think we were just about to do that when you showed up. So... Okay. And I got this cool little timer. 
because that was your suggestion from the suggestion box. Thank you for doing that. Now, yeah, it also helps me see how long of a delay there is too. Oh, there's our ad. Okay. So I think uh, as we're sitting here, like they can't hear me, right? Because the ad's playing. No, they won't be able to hear you. Um, so what's going on right now mm -hmm. is you have one other person who subbed. And I think they, um, that's uh, uh, El Elvaler. I'm Vi sorry if I got El that wrong. Elvaler, yeah. Elvaler, but um, he he'll be able to hear this. So what I would suggest to kind of keep everything a little bit smoother is when you see an ad break coming in, uh, give a little intermission. Maybe might kind of help break up the pace. Uh, um, I need to create it. Like what we're doing now. Yeah. yeah. So, and then kind of just like continue on when the ad's over. Um, you can also, I believe, control those on how how many you get per stream. Um, yeah. You can set them for like maybe the only play at the beginning and the end of your stream. That's a good idea. As opposed to, or maybe one in the middle and then one at the end and one in the beginning. Um, so that way it kind of helps a little bit. Okay. So now are you still seeing the ad? Because it's telling me there's 30 more seconds to go. But I'm not it's already because I'm subbed memory. to you. Oh, so. you can avoid the ads. So I'm subbed to myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm all confused, but that's all right. I'm rolling with it. Uh, the only people that won't be able to see, and I might be able to try this here in a minute, is um, I can get onto a, like a regular channel oh, or I can check. Do, I could log uh, out and then I could see. You my can do that too. Yep. Yeah. But I still want to be able to interact. It's like I don't want to have a million windows open because it's already slow enough. Okay, 18 yeah, I seconds. Can, I can do that yeah. here, actually. Yeah, so I'll need to... You have you have some really nice screens on your channel for, like, Be Right Back and Intermission and all that stuff. I think I just have the just the text, so I'll need to create something. And I can help you with that if you need help. Oh, thank you, but I'll be all right. Yeah. I, all I, I mean, I have the graphics. I just need to just throw the text up with oh. the first stuff. But you already already on the ball. Trying. Okay. Add in progress. Tw ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're back. All right. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. Yeah, Hero Quest fans. Um, welcome everybody. And we got Strange Bus with us in Discord. Playing the Xanon Pass. And we're going to get through this quest if it kills us. Well, it might. And then we have to replay it. <laughs> with a different set of heroes. Um, did you ever see this clip? So I used to watch this channel. And I, I probably should go back because it was just a riot. I used to watch a lot of professional wrestling on the internet. And they had this thing called... I think they took it off of YouTube because it kept getting copyright strikes. But it was called, um, what was it called? Botchamania. And they had just had the funniest intro. Just all the botches, all the mistakes, the glitches, screw-ups from, like, wrestling from back in the day all the way up to today. And some of it is just, I can't believe. But one of the clips uh, was of Randy Orton, RKO out of nowhere guy himself. And it's like at a live event. So someone's recording with their phone. And he's like laying down like next to the stands, you know, where the fans are. And he's just laying there like knocked out. And then he, he kind of like gets up and he like asks the person, he's like, hey, it's commercial, commercial going. OK. <laughs> and he gets up and he's just like perfectly fine. <laughs> he's wandering around. <laughs> it's like so, <laughs> of course, it just stops right there. They probably security probably told him, hey, cut your phone off. But <laughs> I can just imagine it's like, oh, commercial's over, you know, he's <laughs> Throws, sets the coffee down, runs back to the spot, lays, lays back down. <laughs> <laughs> and he got hit with the R commercial. Oh, the R commercial. <laughs> so, hey, I mean, I've been in the theater and I know what it's like. I mean, not to get hit in the head with a chair or anything, but um, just the fact that you just got to roll with it and weird stuff happens sometimes. <laughs> but sometimes yeah. you really need a cup of coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Or Red no? Bull or whatever it is, you know. I know, particularly what he was drinking, maybe a li little liquid courage. Yeah. But all right, back to Hero Quest. So yeah, after all that, you guys are surviving and you're trying to make it through. So we got the uh, 
Got the Goblin attacking PSK, totally whiffed. Man, he keeps getting all these great rolls, and he's complaining about the, the rolls, and he's not even here, and he's getting great ones. So I don't know what his secret is, and I don't think he should ever tell. <laughs> all right, so he's going to... Just lucky. Yeah, just lucky. So the Barbarian, uh, do you have your own dice, or should I roll for you, Strange Bless? Uh, yeah, but it's going to be the same. I'm probably going to have to count on you to roll for me. All right, that's just how we roll. Oh, by the way, if you're on Facebook and somebody's advertising um, HeroQuest t-shirts, don't buy it from Facebook because I hear there's some scams going around. That's That's been like months back, but I think people might still be doing it, so watch out. Only buy it from, you know, Teespring or whatever, um, you know, the official retailer, Amazon. <laughs> don't buy it from Facebook. In the running thing lately, a lot of scams on Facebook. Oh, yeah. I mean, because the products are real, but it's like the links, they, you know, it's like clickbait. They take you somewhere else and trying to steal mm -hmm. your info and upcharge you and all this nonsense. So look elsewhere. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay. All right. You got seven. So, so far, I'm just having you guys uh, go in the general direction of where you haven't explored yet. So you're right here. You can see, like, below the green room, and we're just having you go to the north. I'm just waiting okay. for the camera to catch up. Got 23 minutes to the next ad. <laughs> it's like, you got to keep moving. Okay, so do you just want to just keep on going with the other night? Yeah, that sounds good. All right, so we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like this soundtrack. Maybe you can't hear it, but yeah, it reminds me a lot of the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. But of course, it's completely its own thing. Um, I listened to actually the official Lord of the Rings, like the Peter Jackson soundtrack, while I'm playing War in the North. I actually got a capture card. I might do some Xbox 360 on here at some point. Or maybe split, there you go. Off, split off a channel, do some gaming, some video gaming. And call it H HQF Gaming. Hey, there we go. Yeah, we'll we'll work on that. We can we, we can work with it. We have the technology now. There you go. All right. Okay. So this has already been searched for traps and secret doors. There's not much else you can do there. Oh, also, you found a long sword. So you have one. You got it from that weapons rack after you killed the monster, and you passed your broadsword to uh, Blue Star. So now he's got a better weapon. Oh, and you also found a shield in the tomb. I forgot to tell you that. So you've got. A shield and a longsword now. And he's got a broadsword. So things are, looking, things are looking up. Even though you're like really low on... You both are down to your last body point. So we're both like about dead. Yeah. So you just make it. If you can just make it to the end, you'd be doing well. Alright, so uh, next we've got PSK. And of course, treasure and fight. Fight and treasure, that's what he does. So he's going to take out that unfortunate goblin. I've been trying to do the uh, the fatalities, but I mean, only he has the true talent for those. So once he's back, we'll be getting the creative kills again, the glory kills. All right, one skull, and uh, the goblin defends with one. Blocked it, kaching. Well, uh, he could move, but why bother? Just he's blocking the door. He's in a good spot. All right, Blue Star. Going for Blue Star now. The other knight, eight. So I was wondering this. You know, when you roll two sixes, uh, your two dice, it's boxcars. If you roll two ones, it's snake eyes. But do they have names for any of the other die combinations, like when you get doubles? Do you know? Um, I used to make a joke with, like, double fives and call it snake fives. but. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not very sure. I'm not very common with it. Yeah. Or very uh, knowledgeable. You didn't uh, You didn't uh, work at a craps table back in the day? I did work at a casino, but um, I was the banker. Ah. I worked in the bank. Well, that's a story so for I worked... another time. <laughs> yeah. And have all the secrets, but I can't share them. Yeah. You'd have to kill us first. Then you could tell us. Yeah. 
All right. That was that was satire, just in case. There's no graphic violence on this channel. It's all fantasy. So just have to your fatalities are all in the yeah. on the head in the game universe. Yeah, metaphorically. Yep. Got to abide by the rules now because I'm an affiliate. Except for some reason, I seem to have lost one of my dice. That's weird. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So starting to lose the plot already, and it's it's only nine thirty. That's weird. Okay. That's probably because I didn't load up on caffeine because it was so late in the day. Oh well. Um. So where were we? Is it? PSK did his turn. Mm -hmm. Blue star. Oh yeah, he got eight. Yeah, that's why I was talking about dice. That's the other nice thing about having someone with you, because they can kind of put you back on track. It's like, uh, I think you wanted to do this. One, two, three, four. Now oh, he's got to reveal anything that's there. There is... I feel, I feel I'm a real bad influence sometimes, because we, we get real off track. Side conversation. <laughs> but the thing is, when you're playing HeroQuest around the table, the same thing happens. Like, people start talking, people will... You know, do other stuff, and then pretty soon it's like, wow, how long have we been playing this quest? Uh, it's been like six hours. Oh, man. <laughs> I got go, I gotta go to work tomorrow. What are you doing? You know, but if you have a good time, it's nice when you've got like a weekend, because then you could just be like, all right, let's pick it up next time. We're good. Okay, uh, you also see the exit door. I'm not joking. You actually see the exit door. And it's uh, two away from this stone wall there. I'm oh, sorry, mm. three away, three away. But unfortunately, blocking your path is an ice gremlin. One, two, three. Right here. Now the ice gremlin, oh, remember, can steal your stuff, and all he's got to do is run out of uh, out of view. But the nice thing is he can't open doors. So you've got him right where you want him. 10 movement, 2 attack, 3 defend, 3 body, 3 mind. Unfortunately, so all this, you gotta do is attack him? Uh, and kill him, and then you can, you can leave the quest. Now, we're assuming that there's no traps or anything to stop you. But yeah, so Blue Star still has... Let's see, how far did he go? 1, 2, 3, 4. He could keep going. Uh, maybe do some jumping action. I'm gonna jump some squares just to make sure he doesn't hit any traps. He's gonna just try to jump that that first square. Whoops. Gonna try to jump that first square. He doesn't have any choice in the second one, but he's gonna try to jump the first square. If he gets a skull, yes, he, he lands on the square and has to take the consequences. It's a skull. It's a skull. I do like that I can call it out in the audio. So even before you see the video catch up, you can see what the result is. Okay, so he lands there and nothing there. So he's safe. Okay. Nice. He to the next square and there's nothing. So he's safe. Whoops, you didn't see that. Okay. So yeah, safe, safe. And there he's, he's there. Um... He's got a broadsword, so he can attack with three. Otherwise, I could have had him shoot with a crossbow. Why didn't I think of that? It's because managing multiple heroes takes a little more brain power. I'm slowly losing. I almost right forgot now. that you had the bro you even had the crossbow. Yeah, crossbow and the broadsword. So basically, up close is three, distance is three. Yeah, it's kind of an extra challenge. It's like, oh, you know, this game is so simple compared to Dungeons and Dragons, but when you're controlling multiple heroes like this, it's it's a little bit more to manage. Okay, so we got two skulls. It's pretty good. Monster rolls three in defense. So it's it's not going to be a kill shot. He would have one left if he doesn't defend. Let's see. No defense. So he's got two of these uh, skull tiles underneath him. Nice. See, here's where I'd be wearing some like elaborate like wizard sleeves or something. So when I reach my arm across the board, you know, you can see like huh. my decorative robes or something. But all it would be is just like a fake sleeve that I just wear. 
So I don't know. We'll think about that. Like a purple sleeve with like the star and the moons on it. Yeah, yeah. So it'll get a costume budget, but it's like all he could afford is the one sleeve. <laughs> yeah. You know, like working from home, all you need is the top. You don't need the bottom. Although be careful with that. <laughs> there was another fake video. Uh, this was way before COVID and everything where it shows the guy working from home and uh or no it was something weird it was like he's this asian guy he's sitting at his desk and he's got like a suit and tie and it looks like he's at the office but then like the cardboard thing falls down and like what looks like the office behind him like falls down and he's just like at a party or something and it's just like oh because <laughs> it's the webcam oh. it's like or like I, I don't even remember. I'll have to look it up again. I'm totally botching it, but it's just like, oh, I'm working late, and it falls down. It's like, whoops, no, I was just making an excuse. Well, washes your sleeve, knocks over all the pieces. That's true, Elviler, because yeah, it's got to be like pinned up or something. Because if it's an actual wizard sleeve, it's gonna be knocking everything down. <laughs> It'd be great. It'd be great because you'll watch your hand and you'll you'll be so smooth about it. But oh, we're gonna move six pieces over here. <laughs> And you know, like your hand just starts moving wildly all over the place. <laughs> yeah, just sweeping everything. Yeah. Well, I was looking at some of the um, the emotes and the badges, and it's like, yeah, if you pay this amount of channel points, I'll like wink at you, and I'll drink water, and I'll put a hat on. It's like, what? I'm not doing all that stuff. But yeah, it's just like st it's just start knocking pieces over. <laughs> it's like people are voting for that. It's like no, that's not going to happen. If I do it, it's my honest mistake. <laughs> my honest uh, klutz powers I mean, kicking in. You could put on like a like a mask with like a wizard's hat and just like give him that little top, you know the yeah the like the howdy how howdy. You know? I I do have I do have uh, one of my first video um, videos where I actually like was talking on camera. I did uh, I have a big fake beard, and I was trying to get one of those old man masks. But it just didn't pan out. Like it arrived and it just wasn't that good. So, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Future streams, costume budget, it's gonna be great. See, these, all these things are possible once you become an affiliate. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Guys, limit. Yep. So we did some damage to the ice gremlin, and now it is Zargon's turn. So first thing we're gonna do is attack. And I promise you, we are getting close to the end here. Uh, but we're going till 10 if necessary. All right, so the goblin is going to attack PSK's knight, knucklehead knight. One skull, and he defends, of course, with three. Ching! He blocked it. Atmospheric sound effects. Okay, so now the ice gremlin is going to attack... It attacks with three, so it's it's uh, no slouch. Even though it looks like a goblin, it's like a super goblin, super mutant uh, goblin. And it attacks with three. It's attacking PSK, not PSK, Blue Star. Losing the losing the plot. Attacking Blue Star up there in the north northern northeastern quadrant. Uh, missed. Okay, total whiff. Well, lucky for him. Um. Since it attacked, it's, I mean, it could try to steal something and then run away, but it's like, it's just going to run to the door and it not get any farther. One, two, three, four, five. Open! Open up! Door doesn't open. So only the heroes can open the door. So Zargon's turn's over, now it's um, Strange Bus. I'm going to move your barbarian here. So right for movement. Ten. I'm watching the video catch up. Okay, we got ten minutes to the next ad. I was thinking, like, man, I hope this is, isn't an ad playing right now. Just my luck. All right, we're good. Okay. So ten movement. So we'll just kind of take you on the path here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, you can't really reach him. Ten. Hang it. <laughs> um, 
Um, all right. PSK is gonna go now. See, I was, I was always, I'm always trying to jump ahead to his, his turn. Okay. Whoops. Rolled for movement. We got four. He doesn't really need it, but he's gonna attack the goblin, of course. There's two. One skull, and the goblin only gets one defense. Didn't defend, got killed. So, insert a uh, really elaborate fatality here. <laughs> so, uh, he uh, stabs his foe straight through, but that's not satisfying enough. So, he lifts him up and shakes him and then throws him down with his sword until there's just nothing but a pulp on the floor. Oh, man. What a mess. The poor janitor. What a mess. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's what he does. And now he's got movement. He can walk into the room. One. Let's see if he stepped on anything nasty. No, he didn't. Okay. So there's no reason because he doesn't have an action. So he's just going to wait right there. Now we got PSK. I'm thinking crossbow. Five. I mean, people could still vote for stuff if they want to give out suggestions, but I think we got a light group tonight. That's okay. Everybody's lurking, having fun. One, two, three. Uh oh. Landed on a trap. He's dead. That was a stalactite oh. trap right there. Forgot to uh, have him try to jump. So Blue Star is dead. Oh, wait, wait. That's not true because he's got Stalwart. Ah, that there you go. In, require shield. Use a skill when your body points are reduced to zero. It doesn't just say when someone's attacking you, just any time. Instead, reduced to one. So that's used up, the knight skill. So he's back with one. Still. <laughs> okay, but that uh, that ends the turn. Um, okay, Zargon's turn. Uh-oh. One. Two. Now we've got the Ice Gremlin attacking. Someone's sending me a message. No. Excuse me, just checking. Got six minutes till the next ad. It's kind of like in those games where like your aggro builds up and you got to like let it off and <laughs> pause it and I don't know. I'll get used to it. Okay, so this monster is going to attack. This could be disastrous. We'll see what happens. Attack him with three. Oh, three skulls. Dang. All right. Three skulls against the knight. And he's got three defense. So I'm going to assume this is probably death. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Anybody want to buy him a potion in the chat? <laughs> Save his bacon. That's assuming. We can't necessarily count in the last last second save. I was going to say, I would, but I feel like that, that's now personal interference. Yeah, when it's your own. Oh, yeah, welcome <laughs> to Commander Root. Welcome to Lurks. Oh, I love that name, Lurks. Uh, yeah, if anybody in the chat wants to try to save this guy, because I think this is going to be a fatal hit, um, buy a potion. Go into the chat, click on gold coins, click on, is it... Uh, Buy a potion for a hero. Yeah, so you'd be at um, it's the balance right before, uh, right below your uh, chat, right below your messages. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Somebody, uh, El Elviler, redeemed a bonus potion. I want to see the next so, quest. Uh, where are you seeing that? I'm not seeing it in the chat. It showed up f for me over here. Oh. I said he redeemed a bonus potion for hero, five hundred. Oh, cool. Oh, I see. I can click on viewer rewards. 
Where where is it where you can see you can like see the queue of what people have oh. contributed? That would probably be in your own admin. I think I wouldn't be able to see. Oh, yeah, I could probably check mod view because I'm a moderator, but I got it. Okay. Ah, yes. Because I want that to auto approve. So let's just say mark complete bonus potion for hero. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Well, um, normally I'd have uh, more stuff set up, but let's just say he gets a potion of healing because that's what he needs. It'll be a potion of healing D6. So whatever it'll be. But yeah, we got to see what first. We got to see what his defensive role is. If we can make it before the ad. Back to channel. See, I'm just drawing out the suspense. See, see what I did there? No. <laughs> Not trying to. And the role is commercial break. <laughs> There's like three ads in a row. It's like, no! Why are you doing this to me? You jerk. It's like unsub, 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 unfollow. I want to see the next quest. Yes, Elviler. See, but the thing is with Hero Quest, you can do whatever you want. So you're just like, yeah, let's just skip. Let's just do the next quest. Let's just pretend we did it. But I feel cooler if, yeah, we actually beat it. Like we actually went through to the end. Yeah, see, it's still loading. It doesn't tell me. Well, all right, let's uh, let's try to roll it. But if, if it's an ad, please tell me. Uh, one. He blocked one. He took two damage, so he would have died. But since he's got the potion, he's going to come back. So let's, uh, let's take a look here. One second. There we are. One. Wow. So I rolled a one. So he only gets one back. Well, those are the breaks. I mean, a 1d6, a 1d6 uh, healing potion is pretty common. So I figured that'd be a safe bet. But yeah, if it was a plus four, he would have gotten more. But somebody else could buy another potion. See, now, what a, what a jerk I would be if you actually had to spend real money for that. That I would consider that predatory. And I'd be like ban myself if i did that <laughs> so yeah it, they free, don't have to it's um gold the gold coins are really good they just they just get come to you yeah and i i try to make time. it low for most stuff but i figure 500 because that can really change the flow of the game so you save saved and that's that's pretty common that's pretty good yeah all right so he's he's back to life all right so now it's the barbarian's turn now because uh you can't switch places uh, the barbarian really can't do anything except well there's nothing really you can pass to him oh i can't go uh, yeah i can't climb over him or anything can i no no oh. <laughs> climb onto his shoulders an uncommon feat <laughs> i mean yeah i mean how high how high is the ceiling i could just you know all right I mean, Launch off of him, you know. He's a knight. He can do it. Yeah, like uh, like in 300, jumping over the leapfrog, the guy. All right. Yeah. Let's try it. 50% chance. If it's a skull, you succeed. If not, then you just kind of <laughs> fall on your butt. Oh, that's the great thing about these these sort of things. Is you're willing to go with something like that. That's oh, awesome. Oh, he failed. So you fell on his ah. butt. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to trying to retain his dignity at this point. Okay, so that, that didn't work. Sorry. Slash not sorry. Okay, so now we're back to PSK. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to rely on you to tell me if there's an ad. Oh, but you're subbed. You can't see it. Don't oh, I've got a. I'm, I've got one window that's logged out looking at your stream, and it doesn't oh, look like you. there's an ad playing right now. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. so PSK is going to roll. He's probably like, come on, get on with it. All right. Nine. Okay, so uh, let's see. You can move to the door. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make sure he didn't run through any traps when he did that. Nope. And he's going to search the room for treasure, because of course he will. Hazard. Uh-oh. 
while you're searching, a hidden arrow shoots you from the wall and strikes you. You lose one body point, your turn is over. Now, he can always say, well, hey, I wasn't the one that drew the card. <laughs> <laughs> Even though, you know, he got all this lucky stuff before. So he Knucklehead is oh, down to you one. You got an ad. Just letting you know. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Good so far. You wanted me to let you know, right? Yeah. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> I just want to be like, hey. Had time. Okay. I uh, are we back? No, nope, you're still playing. Still playing. You probably. So you're usually to kind of keep you in the. Your ads are probably going to be anywhere from thirty seconds to a minute, and you're back. All right. Thank you. All right, we're back. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, PSK when he searched this room, gray room for treasure, he got a hazard and he lost one body point. Now. Sorry, man, you weren't here. You can always say, hey, I wasn't the one that drew the card. I feel you on that. But you still got one left. It's still down to one. And you still got your stalwart. So it's not over yet. All right. Now. Now it's time for Blue Star to shine. So roll for movement. Eight. A blue star, of course, is facing down the uh, ice gremlin, who has one body point left. Might as well attack. Attacking with a broadsword, mighty broadsword. He had to uh, kind of clean it up because the barbarian really, it was really bloody from when the barbarian was using it. So he got one skull. Now the ice gremlin defends with three. Whoops. I'm going to have to re-roll that one. Yeah, he got, uh, he blocked it. You got one monster shield. Yeah, if it doesn't bounce in the... If it bounces outside the box, it's got to be re-rolled. But he would have blocked it. So what he could do, though, since he's down to one body point, he could use his movement to back up and let the Barbarian take the take the brunt. What do you think, Strange Bus? You think that's all right? Yeah. Okay. So one... That would be, uh, that'd be my death, though, wouldn't it? Not necessarily, because you've you've got one left, yes, but he's also got the shield block, which he could use to reduce the damage from an attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, it doesn't say it can't work unless. But see, that's the weird thing about this. I don't know if they play tested this well enough, because if you look at the, if you look at the placement, okay. What are you doing? Is is he reaching around you with the shield to like block the hit? That's how I would interpret it. Because otherwise, he'd have to be in front. But if he's in front, he takes the hit instead of you. And it really doesn't matter. Because it's supposed to be like the, your friend gets hit and you shrug off the damage. So I'm, that's okay. how I'm, I'm going to read it in a favorable way. So, okay, so he moves out of the way. And now it's Zargon's turn. So monster's moving forward. Ice Gremlin attacks. The Barbarian. Now you've got a shield of three skulls. Wow. Okay, so you've got um, a shield as well, but you don't get the knight skill. So let's see if you defend anything. If anybody wants to buy him a potion, now's the time. No defense. You're dead. Uh, oh. nah, 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 nah. But you would be dead except for the shield block. So the shield block comes into play. And let's see. Re um, reduce the damage to zero. Oh, so you didn't take any damage at all. Okay. So you're you're alive. The reports of your death were greatly exaggerated. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All over the internet, Barbarian says, who's dead? Not me. Not me. Uh, Knight tells the one in front to duck. Hit bounces off shield. Ah. I'll buy that. I'll yeah. buy that. Yeah. Get down, Mr. President. Choo, choo, choo. Yep. Well played. Just checking the chat real quick. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to 
switch back and forth. I know I need a better system, but yeah, it's like if I had another monitor, I could have yeah the Discord and Twitch and the little creator dashboard thing, stream manager, whatever. I know there's better ways to do it, but getting used to it. Okay, I think so... you do a really good job with what you got. Oh, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, you do a pretty good job yourself. All right. Ah, oh. oh, shucks. Shucky darn. Okay, what? where were we? Um, so he reduced the damage. That was the monster's turn. Yeah, the monster can either run or... Well, the monster's going to stand there because, well, yeah, he's going <laughs> to... Either way, he's going to be in trouble. So, okay, so Barbarian's turn. Strange bus, you want to you wanna take a piece of him? I think so. Yep. Want a piece of this? Want a piece of this? And show the strangest bus showing his sword. His sword, yes. All right. So uh, you're using a long sword now, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you missed. You missed with it. See, it's there's that break-in <laughs> period with any weapon. You know, you got to use it enough to, it's like, he's, oh, I'm not used to this, oh, this fancy leather handle. It's like flying And all like over. most of the Zenon Pass, <laughs> he misses. Uh, he misses. Yeah, there's a lot of misses. It's the cold air. It's just, it's hard. You know, it's like, woo, <laughs> ah, shivering, ah, <laughs> ah. You see my character doing that. Ah, <sighs> it's cold air. It's just it's getting to me. Well, and he should be a lot warmer because he did uh, skin this polar war bear and make a like a nice like furry cape out of it. Of course, he's always having to like whip it past him, you know, because he gets in the way. It's got the little head, <laughs> the little head on it. Keeps his head warm though. Of course, he's such a hot head. I mean, his head is overheating. There's like sweat going in his eyes. It's just it's just a mess. But he doesn't care. Of course, he also gets that you know that effect where you know you got the muscle with the sweat on it. So, yeah. He's uh, he's just mad. He's hot. He's cold. He's upset. He's, <laughs> he's angry. Just, just he's all rage. dizzy. He's, rage inside. Yeah, him. yeah. Hungover. Yeah, it's 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 a bad. I mean, he's sore all over. The bruises are mostly from falling down, though, and like tripping over himself. It's really, you know, he, he just doesn't get enough respect. But it's a good thing his fans can't see him right now. Oh, because... no respect. No. <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield, barbarian. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a Rodney Dangerfield, you know, where he was like in uh, in the Middle Ages or something. If there was, I would definitely watch it. No respect, really good. no respect, even in uh, 1481. Oh. Hey. No respect at all. Oh. I guess I mixed in a little Andrew Dice Clay. I got to work on that. They're kind of similar. Andrew Dice Clay, Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah, very different. Yeah, different a little comics. bit. Yeah. But, um, okay. So mist and uh, you now you could move out of the way, but then you got the same problem as before. Hmm, that's rough. Can I roll to tackle him? <laughs> <laughs> to do an extra. Um, I mean, technically, you yeah. already did your. Uh, you know what? Just for it's just, not an attack, so it'd be like it'd be like oh. to tackle to hold him so that so that so Boostar could get a hit on. I see what you're saying. Okay. Because is he gonna run away in the next turn? Well, or yeah, he's either he's gonna attack you or he's gonna attack the other guy, and you're both in a bad bad spot. So okay, let's uh if it's a skull you get to hold him. You saw it. <laughs> or the stream is to catch up. Well, let's see. Hold on. Don't say anything. And we're going. We're going. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling. Ah. Succeeded. Succeeded. Okay. Oh, I, oh, I succeeded. Yeah. Oh. The skull, I, I know. Normally the skull is like failure. But yeah, skull is success for any of the uncommon feats. That's our homebrew house rule. Okay, so you're holding him so the other guy can hit him. For just there we go. one. one yeah. Turn. Yeah, yeah, it's a ticket. Okay, but first, we got to do PSK's turn. So he did the hazard last time. I think he's just going to keep on going, because that's what he does. So, but we're looking at the left side here. So he's going to, um, whoops, I'm going to roll for movement, first of all. Seven. Got a seven for movement. And he's going to open the door. And let's see, what does he see in the room? 
So we see is a door. Well, that door was already there. It's a pretty foregone conclusion. He's just trying to leave no stone unturned to get that sweet, sweet treasure. But he does see a mummy. And the mummy is one square oh. in. Yep. And to give you the monster card stat, let me just pull that up. Somewhere in here. Okay. So you got that caricature. Only four movement squares, so you can run away from them. But they've got three attack, four defense, two body points. So they're their toughest and undead monster. It's the mummy. All right. So he's got enough movement to go in and attack. I think he would, wouldn't he? I Yes, I definitely think he would. Yep. Now he's going to have to score a lucky hit. Now he does have... I think, yeah, he's got Heroic Brew. I think this would be a good time to use it. Not that he needs the extra heroism, but it does allow you to do two attacks instead of one. And if we take it as the monster only gets one defensive roll, that could be pretty powerful. So he's going to drink the Heroic Brew. And let's see what happens. So he would roll two and then two with a short sword. So that's one skull. And then he'll roll two more. Nothing for the second one. Okay, so only one skull, but still, there was a chance. And so the monster defends with four. Knight tells the one. Oh, that's that's the old. What is beeping? Something's beeping at me here. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Switch back to general chat. Are you still with me, Strange Bus? Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Oh, okay. I was like, uh oh. Ah, King, welcome. Bit of a board game night. Eh? Yeah, we're doing board game night tonight with uh, Hero Quest fans, and then after that. I will be back to uh, continuing uh, Knights of the Republic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to all of your fans. I keep forgetting we're doing a simulcast. So, yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone in, on the on the bus. Hope you're enjoying your uh, trip. All right. So we're rolling defense for the mummy here. And no defense. So the mummy takes a hit. So best possible outcome for the hero thus far. It's one damage point for the mummy all right so now we've got blue star so blue star is you're holding the monster you're holding the monster the barbarian is holding them down and so he can attack i guess he'd be shooting him with a crossbow it's like i got him take the shot but i'll hit you take the shot take the shot okay so three combat dice. Hey, Elvira. Thanks for following, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, everybody uh, go sub and follow uh, the Strange Bus. He's definitely... Uh, he does a lot of cool stuff. I think you'll enjoy. All right, so that's one skull. And... We're going to say he still defends, but he defends with one less because you are holding on to him, to be fair. So he's going to only defend with two. No defense. He's dead. Right between the eyes. So, nailed him. Only he would be that good of a shot. Yep. It's all in the wrist. I guess it would be... Well, that doesn't make any sense for a crossbow, but never mind. I was, I was trying to say something along those lines, but yeah. He he's whatever he said it was cool, you know. In universe, he <laughs> spills like quirky pun. Yep. He quotes like some you know Latin proverb. It's like nice. <laughs> yep. He just kind of he does that he, thing where he just, <laughs> he just blow you know you like you blow the air uh, the the hair that's in your eyes it just blows away. It's like he wasn't even looking. He still made it. Something completely out of context, you know, like he's. Eat this. 
and then like blows on the tip of the the crossbow. You know, does that? <laughs> yeah. Somehow, whatever he did in universe, it was just it was just too cool for words. He didn't have to say. Everybody anything. around him melted. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, he got his his subs just just spiked. All right, so he did his attack. So now he uh, if if they had subs back then. All right, eight. So he rolled an eight. So I think he's just gonna progress towards the door. One, two, three, four, five. No traps, apparently. Uh, he's going to open the door. <laughs> Atmospheric sound effects. Whoops. Let's get that door in view. Okay, so he, he went towards the door, opens the door, and he can step through. He's now exited the quest. So, Blue Star survives. There we go. Hey. hey. Okay, now, but now it's my turn. It's Zargon's turn. So the mummy is going to attack PSK. Attack with three. Let's get that music going again. That's the other thing. I, I got to put this music on a loop. All right, so one skull, somber music. Do we have anything like jumping? Jumping, jump, jump. There we go, get some drum action going. Okay, so one skull. So he's got to defend with three. Blocked it. Cha-ching! Okay. So, what can the mummy do? Not a whole lot. It's gonna go one, two, to the door. Okay, so Barbarian, you wanna exit the quest? Let's go. Alright. I mean, you could try to limp back with one body point, but... No, By the oh, time I, think there, I'll, I think I'll tend to my wounds. 11. You got 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Exit of the quest. Sorry, I just marched you to the door. Getting a little tired here. So, But you made it out alive. Safe and sound. So now it's PSK's turn. The knucklehead. So he's going to roll. Not like he needs a lot to catch a mummy. Eight. One. Two. Let's check here. Oh, fell into a pit trap. So unfortunately, there was a pit trap right there, and the monster led him right to it. So he fell in. Ah! I know. Oh no! If he were here, he would never do this, but it happened. Okay, now. He would normally be dead at this time, but he does have stalwart, so he uses that, comes back with one, so he's now got one at the bottom of the pit. Unfortunately, his turn is over. Ooh, my turn. The mummy's going to attack. He's not going to like me for this, but that's all right. So attacks with three. Now he would defend with one less because he's in the in the pit. Oh, two skulls. Uh, rules are rules. So he defends with two. Anybody want to buy him a potion? <laughs> Anybody in the yeah, chat? Yeah, here's last chance to get him a potion. <laughs> last chance to buy PSK a potion. I can't. Is he gonna? Is he out of everybody? Is he gonna be the one to die? <laughs> yeah. Nobody bought you a potion. It wasn't our fault. Yeah, it's like oh, no. geez, he's had such a good luck up to now. So, yeah, if you're in the chat, uh, go ahead and click on the gold coins below the send a message thing. And try to buy a, buy a hero a potion. I think is what it's called. 
See, I have infinite gold. I could buy it, but I'd be cheating if I did that. I feel like. Yeah, I can't either. I'm part of the game, so. Yeah. Maybe next time when I'm spectating. Yeah, let's get the let's get the timer up. Okay. <laughs> we'll give you. <laughs> it's like uh, reinstate the Macho Man. Like save save Robin from 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 <laughs> being killed by the Joker. Like this is your chance. <laughs> I have, like, some pretty epic music going on, too. This is, like, uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. This Let's... is a, uh... Pretty good. Oh, it's playing the somber music. Okay, let's... Let's try. Uh, see, that's... It's somber. Only you can save PSK. Vote now. Vote now. With your gold coin. Now you need five hundred, but all these lurkers, come on, they've got they've got enough. Come on, you could be the one. Divine, Divine Adventures is fair enough. It happened once, but twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. You never know. Um how do I s oh yeah, I know what I need to do. So I need to go and click on my control panel so I can see, because if somebody sent a request through and I'm just not seeing it, I need to. I, I should be able to see it pop up in the chat though. There okay. should be a notification that pops yeah. up in the chat. Somebody buy him a potion, <laughs> please. I mean, if he dies, if he dies, I could say, hey, look, I gave I gave everybody plenty of opportunities. They were asleep. They were doing dishes. They're painting their minis. They were driving their car. You know, they don't have an accident to buy him a potion. But if you can. Um, let's see. Oh, man. Activity feed. Are we, do we have an ad? Um, we're going to snooze that. Ad. No, but you are you are you are hiccuping pretty hard right now. OK. It could just be me though. I've got two instances of you running right now. Yeah, twice. Twice is nice. Okay, viewer rewards. Let's see. Channel points. Manage rewards. Okay, there should be a okay. Review request queue. I think that's the only way I can see up to the minute. Like if somebody requested a potion for him. No, ready for a request. Nothing. Not seeing anything. No pardon from the governor. Well, buddy. It's been nice knowing you. We nice got out you. of there. Yeah. He took the risk and looked at yeah. all that treasure. Yeah. He was the most I can't run back in there and grab the treasure, can I? Eager for fame. <laughs> well, if the monster's there, the monster claims it. That's the problem. Mm. But I think I said if there was a total party kill that, uh, well, he's going to have to come back. He's going to have to come back for it. Um, all right, so I'm still rolling the dice. Well, thanks everybody for playing along, though. Thanks everybody. Okay, so he uh, he's got uh, two skulls to try to deflect. He already used his stalwart. Ching! He blocked one, but he gets hit by the other. I don't know. Should we try a heroic feat for him? Uh, a uh, last ditch. Normally I wouldn't do this, but. Just to see, maybe he can, uh, maybe he can like hunker down in the pit and it won't quite get him. You know, like maybe he can take cover. So if it's a skull, he, su he succeeds. Anything else? I'm sorry, it's a fatal hit. Last chance. Skull. <laughs> there was a 50% chance. I think I think I've gone out on a limb for him here. I mean, mm -hmm. the hard hard quest. So he just, uh, he was able to avoid the full brunt of the mummy's uh, devastating attack. He's still alive with one body point. All right, it's now his turn. Now, if he attacks from the pit, he's not going to attack full strength. So he's going to need to emerge from the pit. Now we're getting dramatic music. All right, come on, PSK. When you're here for real, you can show us how it's done, but... This is how we're doing it. Okay, five. Hopefully there's no pit there. Maybe he should jump that square. He's gonna try to jump the square and get next to him. Skull means you uh, landed on it. 
Okay. That's just a shield, so he's okay. All right, let's see what... There's no other trap, so he lucked out there. Now I can attack with full strength. It's the mummy. All right. Let's see if we can get uh, an attack to land on the mummy. Missed. Oh, man. If anybody wants to buy my potion, <laughs> jump in. Uh, okay, so he, he failed to kill the mummy. Well, it's the mummy's turn now. So here we go. Three skulls. And talk about keeping the suspense going. And, it's been a good run. Oh, man. Look at that. Three skulls. Now, he's got three defense dice. So if he can score a perfect hit, <laughs> he'll survive. But if not, it's going to be the end. Or the knucklehead. Prince Knucklehead. The brave. The bold. All right. Let's, let me just check the chat real quick. See if anybody bought him a potion at the last last second here. All costs is 500 gold. We got another TV viewers back. Okay, request queue. I mean, we just added the the emotes and the badges and everything reward, so maybe not, people aren't familiar with it enough. Yeah, I don't see any requests. All right, well here we go. I'm not fixing the dice for you, man. I, I can only help you so much. You gotta get three white shields or you're dead. Oh. Oh. What? No, the, my, uh, my screen. It's on my side. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for that camera to catch up. There, you see me rolling. Rolling, they're hating. They're gonna catch me playing dirty. I've got. I'm, I see three white dice over here. Ah, uh, no, no white shields were rolled. Sorry, man. This is the breaks. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> As he dies, so. he throws himself on the mummy, soaking his bandages <laughs> with blood, totally ruining his day. But, fortunately, <laughs> all that gold, <clears throat> and his last words are, <laughs> I won't repeat them here, but suffice to say, he, he had some choice words, but he wanted us to go on. <laughs> he wanted us to go on. So, it looks like, um, after the rage subsides, let's see how much gold he left behind. Yeah, 305. Yeah, 305 gold that he left in the dungeon. Oof. Be long remembered. Yep. Put it on his tombstone, you know. Treasure and kill. Yeah, treasure and fight. That was his Treasure problem. and fight, yep. But, you know, uh, the way this goes, I mean, you, in the next adventure, we can always bring in another hero. If he wants to play, we'll just dust him off, run him again. We can always go back to that dungeon if we find an elixir of life. Maybe we can try to revive him. It's not too late. I mean, the last time we, uh, the Yeti ate all the heroes, so there was nothing to nothing to bring back. But you never know. Maybe the mummy will wrap him up and prop him up in a corner, dusty old corner, and uh, someone can try to come back for that treasure. All right. So uh, thanks for playing. We uh, have one more thing at the end here. So, the Barbarian Strangeth Bus is restored to eight body points. He's got a longsword and a shield. He's got mm -hmm. uh, 200 gold coins to spend. And Knucklehead, unfortunately, didn't make it out alive. Long will he be remembered until the next adventure. And Blue Star, the knight, survived, and he has 100 gold. But there were some bounties that were paid out. So, let's see. So the uh, there was a skeleton 
There was a goblin and there was a yeti. Each had bounties on their heads from the families of the previous barbarians that were killed. So, let's see, we've got... So, 300, uh, 200 for the goblin, 300 for the skeleton, 500 for the yeti. Um, we're just going to assume that they knew the yeti was dead. Like, they heard it scream, you know, its horrible roar of rage as it died. Even though they weren't in the room, so... So you've got a thousand gold plus what you brought out of the dungeon. So that's uh, 1300 gold to spend between the two of you. So what do you think? You want to go shopping? Or you got to? Yeah, let's do it. All right, awesome. Okay, let me. Uh, I had an image of the armory. Let me just grab that real quick here. I like the music. Maybe you can't hear it, but do you have some epic music going? I do. It's um, it's lowered for the shopping portion, but I oh, do. Yeah, yeah. Sh shop music. Next time I'll do something like, like the Wii Shop channel or something. <laughs> do 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 do. Probably need to run to the store and grab some dinner after this. I uh, I slept in today, um, so I didn't really get much done. But this was a blast, and better late than never, really. So thank you for showing up, and thank you guys oh, yeah. in the chat for participating. Al Viler, can't thank you enough. You really just made it that much more special. So thank you. All right, so we're going to yield in because they always have the stuff handy. I honestly, I was thinking like we're just gonna have to replay this because either everybody's gonna get killed or we're not gonna get to the end and it's gonna be delayed again. <laughs> I mean, if you guys all got killed, I was just gonna restart from from before and say, "Hey guys, I just screwed up," but it didn't didn't turn out that way. Man, PSK, I thought he was gonna make it. I thought if anybody was gonna make it through, he was gonna make it. You know, starting off strong, starting off oh, yeah. strong. Yeah, but you know sometimes it's you know sometimes you, those hands they get a little too greedy, get yep. going for that treasure. Yeah, for sure. All right, there we go. Okay, you should be able to see the armory now. Um, give it a minute. Still showing your game board. Ah, there we are. I do have market music playing now. So that's right. kind of nice. It's coincidental. Okay, so we've got the armory. So I'll just show you all the, excuse me, all the cool stuff. Now, the armory is not a feature that's, I mean, it's a little different in the remake of Hero Quest. In the remake of Hero Quest, you've got these equipment cards instead. I like the old idea of the armory where you've just got the menu. That you can choose from it's like yeah i'll take the steak i'll take the uh you know whatever take the take the potatoes all right so, so we've got a tool i've kit. got oh okay. go ahead i was gonna say uh so we've got the toolkit gives you a 50 percent chance of disarming a trap i realize it's not that great because it's like why wouldn't you just jump over it You're still 50 percent chance but if you disarm it it's gone so it won't harm anybody else. Now, if you fail, it blows up in your face. So, whatever the trap is. So, there's that. It's 250 gold. Like I said, you got 1,300 between the two of you to spend. So, 650 each. Um, the short sword, you don't really need it because you've already got better stuff than that. Now, Blue Star could sell his existing short sword because he doesn't need it anymore, really, for an extra 75 gold if you need extra. The helmet is a good thing. It's armor. That's 125 gold. Gives you one extra defend dice. Um, the shield, you both already have shield, so not a big deal there. Broadsword. I mean, he's got a broadsword. You've got a longsword, which is better than a broadsword. 
dagger. Okay. It's just, uh, I mean, if you've got a crossbow, you don't really don't need a dagger because it's only one die to throw, and you lose it after you throw it. Now the long sword, of course, that's what the barbarian has. The staff is just like a weaker version of the long sword, but you know, if you're the wizard, there isn't much you can use, so it's kind of for him, really. You got an ad plan. Okay, thank you. Yep. Yeah, it's like half, I'm half like teaching the game and then half playing the game. Some weird thing with dune buggies. Oh. That uh, chain mail and plate mail looks really good. Yeah. Oh yeah, because plate mail, um, well, I'll, I'll save all my comments, but yeah, the, the knight has no, he doesn't have the, uh, the movement penalty when he wears the plate mail. So it's expensive, but normally it slows you down. See that? Right. Even though in real life the knights could move pretty well with their armor, it's kind of a myth that they couldn't. I think the biggest drawback was you would get hot or cold, and it was harder to see. But otherwise, you were just like a tank on the battlefield. If it was, I was, was well going to say it, it, it seemed like it might have been like depending on what you were, like what was made out of. You were usually pretty um, reduced in vision if you had a helmet, a helmet on. That's true. Yeah. Of course, but, without the helmet, your head is pretty vulnerable. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, with this one, they, they it looks like an open face helmet. But I mean, in game terms, it doesn't matter. It's just one extra defend die. Okay. You just imagine whatever you want. We're back. Or are we still waiting? We're back. We're nope, back. We're back. Okay. We're, so um, only two of the here, two of the three heroes made it out of the Xanon Pass, but we did conquer it, and we collected bounties, which were placed on three monsters that killed the previous barbarians. Now I can almost imagine that there's going to be a bounty placed on that mummy that killed um, PSK, Knucklehead. Long may his uh, spirit roam free. Um, so we might have to go back and uh, slay that monster and then collect that bounty. But that'll be for another time. But yeah, he collected quite a hefty amount for the skeleton, the goblin, and the yeti. And so now we're trying to decide what to buy. So personally, if you are looking for recommendations from me, I would say armor is good. So probably uh, get yourself a helmet each. If you can afford it, um, I mean the chainmail is a nice addition as well because you've already got the shield. Now if you want to try to instead go for the plate mail, max out with the plate mail. Let's see, can we afford all that? That's 800. That would be... Gold. Yeah, I was going to say, that'd probably be more than my half, though. Yeah. If we have I mean, 1300 to spread between the yeah. two of us. On the other hand, he's not here, so you can just pull your money if you want. So let's just see. So you had 1300. Let's just imagine. And then you throw in the short sword, because you can sell it back to the armory for half price. That's mm -hmm. 1375. You subtract 850 for the plate mail, if you bought it. 525 left. Let's say we get a helmet. 400, get another helmet. That's down to 275. You can do that. What do you think? Two helmets, it, plate mail. Yeah, if you if you uh, if you approve, yeah, I'm down. Cause I, I was I'll wear the plate mail and the helmet and have my I'll be a beast on the battlefield. Yeah. If you want, that is if you want it. Um, now, if the knight wears the plate mail, he can move at full speed. Uh, whereas if you do it, you're going to be rolling one die for movement. Oh, it restricts my movement? Yeah. Now, the, the plate mail gives you two extra defend dice, so you'd be really powerful. But if you get chain mail, which is cheaper, it only gives you one. But it doesn't slow your movement down. See, so you got a choice to make there. So what do you think? The chainmail might be cheaper, and it still lets me go my full weight, so it'll give uh, Blue Star a chance to buy what he wants as well. So I think I'll go with the chainmail, the helmet, and uh, yeah, let's go with that. Okay. 
So if we go 1375, subtract chain mail, that's 500, okay. And 125. Okay, so he's gonna have, okay. Sorry. I, I know I've been saying that for hours. It doesn't, it doesn't fly. Not a good excuse. You're getting tired? What? Tired, tired of you being tired? No. Nah, yeah. not a chance. Too much adrenaline, that's what it is. Okay, audio adrenaline. You can't be tired. No. Not a chance. Okay, so we're saying 1375. Minus 500, so we're giving the chain mail to Strange Bus. And we're giving him a helmet. Okay. Okay, so now your defense goes up to five. So you've got five defend dice, three attack dice. So yeah, you're pretty, pretty powerful now. You weren't powerful before. And we've got 750 left for Knuckle, or not Knucklehead, because he's gone. Rest in peace. Uh, we've got Blue Star. So he, of course, goes back to his full seven body points. He's got a broadsword and a crossbow, which is pretty respectable already, and he's got a shield. So we, we have that 750 left. We don't have quite enough to buy him plate mail. So we could buy him chain mail. And we could get him a helmet. I don't know. That'd be respectable. What do you think? Sounds good. Yeah. You wouldn't have enough to get the plate mail? No, we're 50 short. Darn. I was thinking, could we sell something? We don't really have any anything else to sell. Um. I mean, yeah, I don't think I have anything on my person to sell. No. Although... I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna do this, but uh, you guys could always go to the casino and gamble. <laughs> they have a casino. Yeah, I mean, I think you uh, you know you were around a casino, right? So. Um. Yeah. But this is a fantasy casino, so uh, let's, let's switch cameras here. Okay. So we've got uh, two two places in the. Oh, I know. Give me just one second here. Well, just a few seconds. I like that in Empire Strikes Back where Ansel like tells the droid, he's like, wait a second. The droid waits one second and then he leaves. <laughs> All right, be right back. the fancy uh, intermission music. You still with me, Strange Bus? Yes, I am. Awesome. Okay. Just jamming out to my own tunes. That's right. All right. Should be able to see the uh, camera there again. Mm -hmm. And we'll just, just ignore everything else except for... Uh, we'll say that's the... Uh, that glare from the camera from the light okay so there's the casino and we'll say that you guys arrive all rested and ready walking in the door checking the place out and uh, I guess there we don't have other patrons there but let's see if we can just grab uh, grab a little guy to be there back 
Okay, so the heroes decided to enter uh, this uh, fine gambling establishment. Desperate times. So we've got uh, the proprietor over here. Oh, I know, we can okay. zoom in. Is this a uh, casino and tavern? Because if so, my barbarian is in heaven. <laughs> yep. Yeah, because he's, uh, he's known for his uh, drinking games. But um, we recommend he rest up for the next quest because it's going to be tough. All right, so we got uh, this other guy over here. So um, they come on in. I'm not going to make your roll this time. Let's get some appropriate music going here. Market day. There we go. All right, so you walk in, and the guy says, uh, Welcome to the steward card house. You must best... You must bet at least 20 gold coins. You can bet a max of 200 gold coins. The way this works is you roll each each hero can roll two red dice. If you get two to six, you get the amount that you bet. If you get seven to 12, you lose the amount. And you can only play twice uh, per quest break. So what do you think? That sounds a little risky. A little risky. Did I already buy what I needed? Yeah, you already bought what you needed. <laughs> so we're, we are rolling for Blue Stars equipment right now? Yep. Now, okay. if, you, if you don't like the odds here, the proprietor kind of pulls you close and says, well, I didn't want to say this, but uh, there is another option. Uh, we have the uh, backroom gambling house. Now with that one, you can bet uh, five gold coins, at least. Max of 100 gold coins. And you're gonna take uh, a white combat die, pick a symbol, a skull, a white shield, or a black shield. Then you roll one attack die, and if it comes up what you want, then you get the amount that you bet. If you lose, you lose your money. And in that uh, space, you can use your equipment as money, and you can only uh, try one time. So those odds seem even worse. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, if you don't like what I've got, I got something worse here for you. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's uh, we came up with this like ages ago, um, so back in the in the nineties probably. But I guess the idea was if you had nothing left, like if you had no, if you had hardly any gold, you just I just want to try to get something, anything. All right, uh, um, to two hundred. How much do we have now? Seven fifty, and you're trying to get to eight fifty. Let's the do minute. one. Let's do one roll of this. Okay. How much do you want to bet? The 200? Isn't that what we have to bet is the 200? Uh, that would... If you won, then you'd have 950. So yeah. But that's the minimum bet is 200, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. The minimum bet is 20. The max bet is 200. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do... Because uh, we're trying to get to 850... Yeah. So you need a hundred. You need to win a hundred. Now, if you lose, of course, you're gonna lose. I mean, you still don't have enough to buy it, but you know, you still have a, a tidy amount of gold left. Yeah, let's just bet a hundred then. Okay, bet a hundred. All right, and so we're just gonna try once, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Let's look back down at the uh, dice rolling box. Try to keep it fair here. So roll two dice, so if you get two to six, now here's where the low rolling dice would benefit you, but you know, they're not weighted dice or anything. Just two to six, you get the amount that you bet. Three. Oh, sorry, I didn't do the suspense thing. Well, you'll see on your screen in a moment what you got. Ooh, I hope it's two to six. <laughs> I cannot take credit for these these homebrew creations. There and, you go. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you won a hundred gold. Nice. Yeah. If I were a no, slip, slippery character, I want to bet it all. <laughs> no, no. Okay. The gambler's fallacy. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you so you won a hundred. 
Okay, so right. uh, so now you've got 850, just enough to buy plate mail. And the guy's like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> do you want to you want to play some more? You want to gamble some more? Come on, I uh, free drinks. Uh, uh, you know, he's just trying everything he can to keep you there. <laughs> You're like, oh, we have enough for the plate mail. Yeah, uh, we'll be going. We'll be going. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll have to come back. Like, all right. They're uh, they're not able to intimidate you or anything, so you just uh, you head out of there. Yeah, and this, if you, in case you're wondering, this is from the Mythic Tier. This is just the tavern where um, the Crypt of Perpetual Darkness starts out. So, just kind of a cool little thing to say that that's the the casino. All right. Okay. So back to the armory. Yeah, in theory, you could just keep running back and forth if you were just really good, I guess. Really lucky on the dice, so to speak. So, all right. So we're buying plate mail for Blue Star. Plate armor. So he gets two extra. So he's up to five defense as well. So pretty good. Not too shabby. Pretty nice that Mythic came with a yield in title. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Heck yeah. Well, it's one of those things. So some of the stuff, I mean, there was always this fear when Hero Quest was being remade. It's like, how in touch are they with the fans and what the fans want? Because, you know, you've got 30 years of homebrew stuff, ideas being discussed online. I don't know how much research they did, but, you know, it's a fair bet. You could say, okay, well... People came up with dragons, because there's no dragons in Hero Quest normally. I mean, they may exist in the universe, but there was no actual dragon. So they introduced a dragon. And there's no tavern, they made a tavern. So it's kind of like, all right. But yeah, if you go to yieldin.com, there's a, a tile, a custom tile, and they call it Yieldin. So it's like the forum is, you know, you could role play all that stuff. And yeah, it's cool that the official one. I mean, it's a, it's a different size, but it's your same basic idea. You know, you've got your, uh, you got your tap there. You got your sausages, you got your drinks, you got your tables and your, uh, chairs and everything. It's kind of a grimy old place, but you can enjoy yourself, get some rest. All right. Okay. So, um, what do you think? Uh, I think we're kind of at the end of our time, but if you want, I can introduce the next quest just so you know what's coming. Entice, yeah. Entice people to come back. Now, of course, there may be a side mission next time to retrieve uh, uh, PSK's uh, body for proper burial with all honors and to uh, avenge the monster. So just like Shadow of Mordor, you can go back and fight him, but he might be stronger. Maybe. Maybe. All right. So... Congratulations on completing the quest. Quest one of the Barbarian Quest Back the Frozen Horror. Right there. And uh, quest number two, Trial by Ice. Xanon Pass leads to an underground outpost on the slopes of the Siberian Range. This outpost is a base of operations for minions of the Frozen Horror. It threatens several nearby villages. You must enter the outpost and slay one of the Frozen Horror's lieutenants, a Chaos Warrior named Crag. The only way in or out is through the ice cave entrance. Your quest begins and ends there. And that looks like it's going to be quite a battle. So the fact that you bought all that gear is probably perfect. <laughs> now, a new hero starting out is going to just have his base gear. So that may be a little bit of a challenge to overcome, okay. but um, it can be done. It can be done. So this is where it starts getting real then, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. All right. Well, uh, do you have anything to plug today, uh, Strange Boss? You've got your stream and you're going to be covering uh, Knights of the Old Republic, did I hear? Yeah. So I am doing a uh, current playthrough for... Uh, Kotor or Knights of the Republic, um, and then we'll probably be doing the second one here upon request. Nice. But yeah, I pretty much do a lot of stuff randomly. I've just been uh, covering recently a lot of classic Star Wars games, so a lot of retrospectives. So 
But yeah, you can visit my uh, my channel there. It's just the Strange Bus, or you can get me on YouTube. It's the Strange Bus there as well. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, uh, I thank you again for uh, playing with this tonight, Strange Bus. Thank you, El Viler, uh, for your participation. Thank you for everybody who lurked, everybody who followed, subbed, rated, subscribed, all that stuff. Uh, this will be appearing on YouTube 24 hours from now, so it might not be a couple days till you see it, depending on how long it takes to upload and everything. And I'll try to edit out all the technical issues we had. I know it's a pain. Uh, <laughs> for a guy that's done almost eight-hour streams, I know you can sympathize with that, but it is what it is. Oh, man. Do it with you. Yeah. I mean, you, you see what yeah, my... we go through to entertain you sometimes. So. Yeah, my... Uh... To kind of keep my KOTOR streams down, yeah, I've been doing those for about anywhere from uh, four to nine hours. So yeah. that'll be what this one's going to be. So if you're if you're visiting, yeah, um, just to say hi, it's awesome. But if you're planning on watching the thing, strap in because it's going to be a long night. Yeah. Well, and even though it's not, I mean, in, I'm doing the you know Conan the Barbarian, Dungeons and Dragons, Lord of the Rings esque World of Hero Quest here, but. The fact that you, it's Knights of the Old Republic, even though it's Star Wars, I like the fact that it coincided with what we're doing. You know, it's still that chivalric uh, galaxy far, far away. So it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've well, uh, gotten into a lot of it lately. And you know, yeah, some of that's Morrowind and hilarious. this. And... Yep. Oh, yeah. All kinds of moments. And if I didn't have to uh, get up uh, tomorrow and work, I would probably stay up with you. But I'm gonna. What I'm gonna suggest is that we do a raid. Go ahead and raid uh, Strange Bus. I think we can do that now because you, your stream, stream is going. Yeah, you can. Yeah. So let's do a raid. And actually, there is a feature where people can lead the raid. So I don't know. Don't. I'm gonna give people an opportunity. If somebody wants to re lead the raid besides me, you can. You just have to spend 500 gold. 500 gold coins to guide the raid. I think that's how that works. Never never used it before. So does anybody in the chat want to guide the raid? Otherwise, I can do it. All right, let me just uh, throw the timer up there. I'll give people a minute to decide if they want to guide the raid. And uh, real quick here, while we're waiting on that, mm -hmm. I am going to, once again, thank you for having me on <laughs> as late as I was. <laughs> hey, better late than never, right? Yeah. Absolutely. I always have fun doing these. And um, hopefully I'll uh, be able to see you next week for the, the next big quest. Yeah. But, yeah, I'll go ahead and switch on over because... Um, I'm going to be doing a KOTOR, so I'll go ahead and switch on over there, and I will uh, see you next time. Night to the Old Republic at the Strange Bus. Everybody take care. Have a great night. Uh, thanks. And, yeah, check out uh, streamlabs.com slash shadzar slash tip if you want to help out. Shadzar, he's done a lot for the stream, a lot for the Discord. Um, we wish him well. And thanks to everybody who participated. Absolutely. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's raid the strange bus and I will go ahead and lead the raid. The strange bus. So anybody in the chat, feel free to join the raid. Okay, it's not saying anything on my end. Are you streaming? I guess we'll see in a minute, won't we?
Alright, this concludes the stream.